Yo guys, welcome back, and if you're just watching this VOD, I'm doing some live streaming, and I'm basically doing these Noble Victory tournaments that are expanded. I didn't even realize that Noble Victories was going to be in the expanded tournaments this week. I didn't even know that at all. I thought Noble Victories was gone. I didn't think it would be this quick, but it looks like it is, which gives me um, a reason to actually grind Noble Victories again. Um, again, I want to get a lot of Noble Victory packs, so next week I can do a Fuller End pull hopefully something like that anyways and uh, we'll grind out these tourneys today we'll see how it goes i wanted to do viewer battles maybe i'll do like tomorrow or something where i'll actually stream myself doing viewer battles i didn't want to do viewer battles guys but it's just i mean these noble victory tournaments are too good to pass up it's flash fire noble victories which flash fire isn't really a good set there's nothing really in there that's too good other than lysander but, you know, it is what it is. I guess it could be worse. I'd rather it be Flashfire than, like... Actually, no, I'd rather... Nah, I think I'd rather be Flashfire than Noble Victories. Noble Victories isn't that good either. Um, but yeah. Uh, so hopefully things go well. My opponent might not be playing a good enough deck. I mean, looking at the typing, don't look too good. I think tomorrow, though, I'll do a stream where I do viewer battles. Or Wednesday, I'll do a stream where I do viewer battles. I want to do a, 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 a viewer battle stream. But it's just right now, we're kind of chilling with the Noble Victory tourneys. I, I think this opportunity is just too good to pass up. We've gone through so many tickets this weekend. I probably burned over 300, 400 tickets this weekend, um, which is pretty crazy. Um, so we'll see how this goes. We'll see what my uh, opponent will be playing here. Um, okay, doesn't look too competitive, which is a good sign. Um, let's see. Comp search. I think I'll take that. Sure. I think we'll just get rid of Field Blower and Lysander. And I think I'm just going to get... A, I don't know actually to be honest. Um, I think I'll just get another Manetric. Now we'll get a Manetric Spirit Link. Let's see how many are in the deck. Three. All right, that's fine. I want to get a Light Energy on my Manetric though, so hopefully we can do that soon. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for the end here. We need to hit a Lightning Energy, Mr. Overkill. Nice. Yo, shout out to you, Mr. Overkill. I'm doing another stream where I'm doing tournaments. Even though you know I really want to do a stream where I do you know, something else, but it's just, right now, the tourneys are too good. Noble Victories is still in rotation with Expanded, not Legacy, which is nice. So, yeah, shout out to you, though, for checking out the stream, Mr. Overkill. How you doing today? Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, Wednesday or Tuesday, viewer battles should happen. I promised you guys I would do viewer battles, so I gotta keep that promise, and I'll do them for my next live stream, though, don't worry. Um, because I'm gonna run out low on tickets soon anyways, um, so, you know, I gotta do it soon. Hopefully, though, we can actually take a knockout this turn. I think we can. I mean, we just need to find a lightning. We don't even need to find Mega Manetric. We just need to find a simple lightning energy, and my opponent is a goner. Uh, we'll see, though, how this goes. We got Volcanian, which is a part water type, so that can help us. I think we're pretty good this matchup. I mean, my opponent doesn't look to even be playing a competitive deck. I mean, their deck does not look to be that good anyways. No offense, Android, but uh, your deck ain't looking too hot. But yeah, these Noble Victory tournaments are perfect. Noble Victories goes for like 1.5 right now. So like even if I didn't want to open them for, you know, full art end pulls, I can trade them off for, you know, stuff I need. Um, so that's always a good sign. We do get a Battle Comp, which I'm going to play. I think I'm going to get rid of Hex Maniac and two Fires. Stuff I don't really need to draw into right now. So that's fine. Um, so yeah, we just got to hope we can hit a Lightning here. I am going to go Hoopa here for Mega Man, and I'll grab a Shaman. While I'm at it, sure. And uh, we'll, we'll dig here and see if we can hit a lightning energy. I really need one so I can knock out my opponent. Um, so here we go, we'll do this. And by the way, I know the thumbnail says Guardians Rising tournaments too. I'm not going to be grinding any Guardians Rising tournaments. Um, well, there we go, we got a lightning. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, but the thing is, is right now... I haven't, I didn't have enough time to make a thumbnail, because I want to start streaming ASAP, because I'm, I'm probably going to be able to stream up until, like, maybe 5 o'clock, so a couple hours, like an hour or so, so, you know, I didn't have time to make a quick enough thumbnail, so, yeah, I know the thumbnail says Guardians Rising and Noble Victories, I'm going to change it to, like, Noble Victories Expanded Tournament Grinding and all, I'll put another Pokemon in the thumbnail, um, but I'm probably just going to be grinding this with this deck, I don't know what else I could use too. We'll see. The 24 ticket tournaments in Expanded were last week, or this weekend, or whatever, and it was... I burned through so many tickets. I, I literally only have, like, 200 or so left. It was crazy. My opponent's just gonna evil sort of Mega Ray. Alright, we're still gonna knock you out. So, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. 
I think I'm just going to keep going Turbo Bolt. I don't even care about drop dumping my hand. My opponent is not putting any threat on the board, so I don't mind doing all of this. We got a Choice Band. Um, we can knock out Charizard with Manetric next turn if he brings it up. We basically have a win here. I don't see how my opponent can get out of this. Let's see. Be a Seeker. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we'll just retreat into Volk. It's going to put a Choice Band on. I'm going to Lysander that Charizard out, and we are going to knock it out with Volcanic Heat. Thanks to Volcanian being a uh, water type, we get to hit him for weakness, giving us the easy knockout. And there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This game is going pretty smoothly. Don't even know if we're going to lose at this point. I mean, my opponent's basically lost. I mean, how are they going to win? How are they going to win? That's basically a free Noble Victory Packs. Hey, yo, Benji Anime, shout out to you. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I know you're excited for a live stream today, and I wanted to do one. I'm doing more tournament grinding. Um... Just because the Noble Victory Tournaments are in the expanded format right now, which is really, really good. And I want to get a bunch of Noble Victory Packs. I want to do like a little Noble Victory Pack opening video or something like, something like that. So I'm going to be doing some NV tourneys. And uh, I'm just going to be doing that today. But tomorrow or Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a live stream where I probably will take viewer battles. I have, I have, I promised you guys a viewer battle live stream eventually. So I thought we got to deliver it soon. Um, so we're at least guaranteed one Noble Victory Pack. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, the stream probably will be up to like 5 or something, we'll see. Um, don't want it to be a long, long stream, playing against a Psychic and Dark. Could be Garb. A lot of people play standard decks in Expanded, um, so we'll see if he's going to be playing anything special. And we lose the coin flip rip. It kind of sucks, so Flash Fire is the other pack you get. Like, Flash Fire is just such a weird pack. Even if not uh, Lysander's in it, I don't really think it's worth it, to be honest. Um, so I don't know. But we have a good hand here. I think I'm just going to hold on to Mewtwo because he does play Psychic types. We'll see what he kind of Psychic types. Alright, he has Mewtwo in his deck too, which means our Mewtwo is going to come into play. So we are going to put a Mewtwo down. Team Rocket's handiwork. What? Double Tails? Okay, thank gosh. Even if that got rid of some energy or something, that would have been nice. Um, okay. I don't know what we're playing against here. I feel like I should be scared. I kind of don't want to lose Super on my opponent. I'm playing a lot of energy removal, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, okay, I think I'm just gonna put Jolteon down. Uh, is it even worth it hitting, hitting for 20? I mean, I don't think it is. I think I'm just gonna switch into Jolteon for now. I don't really... I'm fine with that. I don't know, he plays Handiwork, he might play more Hammers. I don't want to like walk into him doing a bunch of crushing Hammers and stuff. Uh, the reason I didn't put Silent Lab down either is because I didn't want to block my Shemans and Hoopas and Lele. Um, Aaron's Pokemon. Hi, everyone. Yo, Aaron, shout out to you. Thanks for stopping by today on the live stream. I'm just doing some Noble Victory tourneys today. Nothing nothing too crazy. Um, I did promise you guys that I would do some sort of, you know, viewer battle live stream. So I'll probably be doing that in a few days. Or, yeah, a few days. Either Wednesday or tomorrow if I do live stream. My next live stream will be viewer battles. Because I did promise you guys that, and I promised a few people I would battle them. So my next stream will be viewer battles. Unless, for some reason, I don't know, these tourneys take forever to find. I mean, maybe we'll, like, do, like, a casual thing. Kind of scared of damage change, though, I'm not going to lie. I think we just have to hit our DCE here, and we'll knock him out, so it's not a big deal. Don't mind him just putting damage on my Jolteon. Alright, battle comp. I guess we can play this, just dump some stuff we don't need. Uh, We'll get rid of... F yeah, we'll get rid of Volcanion. I don't think we'll play it. Um, we'll get rid of AZ, we'll get rid of a Lysander. Do I have a DC? We do. We only have one in the deck, though. Hopefully we can hit our DC here. Kind of just worried about damage change. Uh, we still have our comp search, though. Hopefully we can hit comp search here. Yeah, we can hit computer search or DC. We have two odds of hitting our DC. I really want to hit one so I can just one-shot him and not walk into damage change. Alright, we don't hit it. That's rip. Alright, well... I think it's fine then just to let him damage change me. We'll let him do it. It's fine. We'll go Turbo Bolt. We'll let him hit me with a damage change. It's not a big deal. As long as we can build up our Mewtwo here, we can just one-shot him with Mewtwo and all is good. I think we'll go that route. So, I'd rather rather not, but it's fine, you know. We can take the damage change damage. Hello, yo, Benji. Welcome. Obviously, I know you responded to Aaron, obviously, but it's all good. Yep, there's damage change. But my Mewtwo is about to knock you out. I mean, I'm hoping I'm doing the math right. I could be doing the math wrong. Oh, there's Calm Search. Okay, we have Funny Fury Belt on. We're doing 50, so 100. Okay, we're knocking him out. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. We obviously have a knockout. 
So I think we computer search here. I'm going to get me a rough seas. Um, just so I can heal my Mega Minetric, just in case. I don't know. Might as well heal Jolteon and Minetric. They're both really weak. And I think we'll just put a choice band on to Jolteon. Go Verse Seeker for a Sycamore. And I'm hoping I'm doing enough damage here. I'm pretty sure I am. Like, my math is wrong. I'm an idiot. But, yeah, we're not going to melt for sure. It's all good. And there we go. I actually got some cards I needed. So I'm going to get rid of these two guys. And I'm going to get another Mega Manetric into play. Double up on the bad boy. Yeah, I think at this point we're in such a good spot. My opponent probably isn't going to be able to pull off a win. You know, not not trying to not trying to burst his bubble. But we will just knock him out here. Get rid of that damage change. And there you go. And we'll see what our two prizes are going to be. I guess some energy wouldn't be bad if my opponent plays hammers. Battle comp's not bad. Battle comp's not bad. But yo, guys, if you're just tuning in the stream, I'm doing... Some old noble victory tournaments. Um, Ray and Moraes, say hello from Brazil. Yo, Ray and shout out to you. Thanks for watching. And then shout out to all my Brazil fans too. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Hi, yo. Shout out to you. Thanks for stopping by today on the stream. When Pokemon brings back computer search for standard, people will be like, yeah. I mean, they might they might make it like a, uh, a GX attack because this was like a one of card anyways. You know what I mean? So it kind of fits with the whole like GX attack play. My opponent's gonna go into another Mewtwo here. Don't think he can attack me, though, unless this ether finds an energy. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, okay, don't really know what to say about that. I'm pretty sure we just need an energy and we knock him out, which we find, so it's all good. I think we got a win here. This ain't a win, rip. I'm pretty sure this is a knockout. Yeah, it's a knockout. Yeah, but if they make computer search, I mean, there'll probably be another GX attack. I mean, computer search has always been, like, a one-up card anyway, so it would make sense just to make it, like, a simple... Jack's attack. Does this guy look like Garb? You know, some weird second box deck. Alright, not bad. We're still able to pull off a win, which is pretty clutch. And uh, we're already in the finals, so we're at least guaranteed two more Envy packs. I want to maybe at least get 20 Noble Victory packs by the end of the week. Um, so I can open them up for you guys and make like a cool Noble Victory pack opening video and hope that we can pull a Full Art End. A Full Art End pull would be pretty nice. It would be pretty nice. So we'll uh, go here, Vivid. Hopefully everything's going okay. I mean... Okay, good. I was, like, worried for a second. I thought my, like, internet was pooping out for a second there, because it was not saying I had any trades, or there's any trades up. Pretty bad, no, uh, pretty bad Victini. Pretty bad Victini trade. You get literally nothing worth it in there. Uh, is there even a Secret Rare Lele? Yeah, that's a bad trade, if I've ever seen one. Let's see this. Five Ultra Balls for the sleeves? That's not bad. I don't think people will just trade off the sleeves, so. But, yo, shout out to everyone tuning into the stream today. I'm doing some tournament grinding on Noble Victories. I need to change the thumbnail after the stream. I didn't have enough time to make a thumbnail for the stream. But I gotta change one for, like, Noble Victory grinding. Um, I'm new to TCG, and I only played with the three standard decks so far. Is it normal that you only use the X's in a deck and no evolutions? Uh, yeah, Maggie, that's perfectly fine. The X's are really powerful anyways, you know. GX's are also really good too. But yeah, there's those decks out there that only play like just EX's and nothing else um, um, other than like just GX's and EX's. Um, yeah, it's pretty normal for that. Um, that makes your deck even stronger because you're hitting them really hard with these really powerful Pokemon. Um, Mewtwo OP. Yeah, I know. It was the Mewtwo Wars. It was Return of the Mewtwo Wars. You know what I mean? I don't know why he Ninja Boy into Mewtwo though. I mean, he was probably hoping that Ether would hit, but still a weird play. I'm not complaining, though. It was a nice, quick win. Uh, but yeah, it was a weird play. A weird play. But yeah, guys, just chilling here. If you're just tuning in the stream, I'm doing some turning grinding. This guy offering eight packs. No, but how do you, how do you get six-card packs? That is really weird. I've never seen that. I honestly don't know how you get six-card packs in this game. I don't know how that guy did that. It's a mystery to me. But yeah, guys, I do have $50 that I'm probably going to be using on eBay. I'm thinking of buying a bunch of codes for, like... Guardians Rising on uh, eBay so I can, you know, get a bunch of GR packs and, like, I can get a lot of cards I need. Like, I only have 60 right now. I have a ton of packs in my account. I have a ton of packs right now. I don't want to, like, buy, like, a lot of expensive stuff. Um, is this guy offering 85? Ooh, that's a little tempting. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I wouldn't do that, but 85, that's a little tempting. That is a little tempting. That's not a terrible trade. It's not, like, super, super bad. Because if I can pull the floor in... Those 85 packs, they're mine. And I just basically gained 85 free packs. I'm kind of tempted to do that, I'm not going to lie. Probably not a good deal, though, but it's fine. Um, I kind of want to do that, though. I think, like, N maybe goes for 80, so maybe he's overpaying there. Not to mention, this is the second week of Noble Victory Tournaments, so I don't know. Uh, great, great, great Ultra Ball trade there, buddy. 
so many bad trades, so little time. I need to do another roast and bad trades. This trade is tempting. I don't think it's worth it, though, because I know GR goes for, like, a 1-0 ratio right now. I'm kind of tempted to do that. Like, I don't want to, though. I'm probably going to trade off an end, though, if I do end up pulling one out of my uh, Noble Victory pack. If I When I do a pack opening on Noble Victory, I do want to open one. Beware GX. I want to make a Beware GX deck, even though it's not really that good of a card. It's borderline decent. At best. It is a stage 1, which is nice. But yo, shout out everyone tuning in the stream today. Um, So with a normal bot theme deck, you have no chance against an experienced player with an only EX deck. Yeah, basically, I'm not going to lie. Like, the theme decks aren't really that good, Maggie. Like, they're good in their own format. Like, theme deck formats, theme decks do good. But by themselves, yeah, theme decks aren't really that good. Um, They can't really compete with, like, Garbodor. They can't really re compete with, like, Decidueye. They can't repeat with a lot in the format right now. I wouldn't say, I would say kind of just pass up on going for those. Um, but yeah, the best things you can build, Maggie, are just budget decks. S, good, LDF. Yo, pasta, what's good, man? How's it going? Take off, still the best member, amigos. Everyone drop a like for a little dark fear. Yo, thanks, Benji. Yeah, you heard Benji, guys. Drop that like and drop that sub, too, if you're new. Um, okay, there we go. New turn. Finals are starting. Can we get these three NV packs? Another psychic deck. All right, it could be a standard garb deck. A lot of people play standard decks in Expanded because they don't have any expanded decks built and ooh, we win the coin flip nice but yeah guys i'm gonna be doing tournaments today my next live stream i'll probably do some viewer battles i'll probably do a viewer battle live stream um just not today i don't really like want to but you know noble victory tournaments are too good to pass up Noble victories has gone up in value it's i think it's like i've, I've seen it go for like 1.5 right now which is really good so if i can get like at least like 30 20 noble victory packs i can do like a good pack opening video for you guys I might even trade him off, too. I don't know. I'm probably going to do pack opening, because N has a good pull rate. Okay. It looks like we are playing against a... I don't even know, to be honest. All right. We'll go battle comp. I might have the chorus for three. I don't want to do that, though. It's kind of risky. I think we'll get rid of AZ. I'll get rid of a Sycamore in case we get Versus Seeker, and I'll get rid of a... Nah, actually, we might need that if he puts a tool on. What won't we need? Um... I don't think we'll need Volk. We'll just get rid of three things I don't want to draw into. I might... Yeah, we'll just Lysander out this. It's fine. Yeah, I don't want him to go into Espeon and confuse me. It's not really a fun time. LOL Quavo, though. Dude, Pasta. Quavo's good. I like my boy Quavo. I like Offset. But Quavo, he's on too many songs. Literally, search up featuring Quavo in the past month. You find, like, 20 songs. He's on, like, songs with Halsey and, like, Liam Payne from One Direction. Like, who's man? Who's man? But yeah, hopefully my opponent ends me, or we can top deck a Pokemon. Anything to get us out of this little bad hand we got going on. Because our hand ain't looking too hot right now. Ah, oh, I needed that drink of water. My voice is still recovering from Saturday. I went to Canada's Wonderland on Saturday, and my voice still needs to recover a bit. Alright, let's just go into Mega Manetric. Alright, I guess we hold on to Colorus for next turn. I don't know. Also, if you want to build a cheap budget deck, I recommend Night March or Bunnelby Garb. The deck is pretty lit. Yeah, it is. I Yeah, Greninja. You can build Gyarados. I mean, you need the Magma's base. Actually, I'd, I'd say pass on Gyarados. Magma's Seeker base is a little overpriced right now. It's like five or six packs. I would not recommend. Altar? Okay. If he retreats an Espeon, that might be a little annoying. We're going to have to flip for confusion here. That's fine, though. Kikui? Oh, crud. Best way to farm coins is play more, yeah. Yeah, basically, Benji, just play versus. I think versus is the best way to grind coins, because you get the ladder, and then you also get, like, coins that you get from thing. Okay, I think I'm going to hold on to a turn here. Yeah, we can just lay next turn. All right, come on, get heads. No, Manetric, you suck at your job. Okay, if this guy puts any more energy on, we can maybe knock him out with Mewtwo if we can find DCE. But I'm kind of scared our Manetric is going to get knocked out. Does Divide knock me out? Now we're good. You play two? Get out of here. Get your deck out of here, fam. As my decks aren't good for tourneys. Hey, man, you never know. I mean, a lot of people in tournaments don't use competitive... No, he knocked me out. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Alright, Mewtwo, this is up to you, buddy. Uh, we're gonna lose because this guy's deck is too OP. We're gonna lose. We didn't even have a bad start, either. Oh, man. I hope I don't lose. This is gonna be really annoying if I do. We still have our comp search. We got DCE. We need to hit either one. We knock out this Espeon, I think we're going to be in a really good spot. So, yeah, I think we sick of I don't really care about ending him. Doesn't really matter. He didn't really do much anyways with his hand. Come on. Computer search or DCE and, like, a choice band would be good. 
Oh my gosh, the whiffs. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I oh, he conceded? What? Yo! Okay, I was like, oh we whiffed and he conceded. Oh my god. I only played with the three standard decks versus computer to learn. That's fine, man. I mean Maggie, best thing to get into the game, build a nice cheap budget deck. What was he playing? Yeah, but just build a nice cheap but I don't know why he conceded, but I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, Maggie, best thing to do, build a nice cheap budget deck, get some good wins with it on the versus ladder, build up your coin collection, and uh, you'll you'll be good. Um but speaking of coins, I'm gonna go hit up the shop here and uh, open up some packs. See what we can pull. If it lets the shop load. I'm gonna open up a Guardians Rising pack. I know, like, I got three Lele's. Literally, the live stream on Friday, the last pack I opened up, I pulled a freaking Lele. I was like, that's two Lele's I got in one day. I traded for one on pubs, and then I got one out of a pack. I mean, now I got three Lele's. And I started the day off with one. Now I got three, but we'll open up a GR pack. There's still some stuff I want to look for. Like, if I could put, like, a Secret Rare Max Potion or something, that'd be great. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Benji and Pasta. Why would he concede? He had such a good advantage, too, but I'm not going to complain. I don't mind. Nah, Trevenin. I mean, I can trade off I can trade off two of my Trevs. That's fine. I mean, it's not a good pack by any means, but ah, it's not the end of the world. Alright, I'm going to play a different deck, though, for this tournament. I don't want to play Mega Manetric all day. I want to mix it up a little bit. Because literally, if I make a thumbnail for this video, which I'm going to have to do after this stream, I, I can't. Give the luck to Fury. Yeah, man. I have a real life theme deck. I thought I'd just switch good cards in and that's it. I mean, Maggie, man... The best thing I think... Okay, here, I'll show you a good... I'll show you a good budget deck, Maggie. So, this is Greninja. This... Okay, you, you can make Greninja without Tapu Lele, but... Basically, Greninja is a great budget deck you can build right now. It's a really powerful deck. Um, you can build a Greninja deck. That could be good. Um, there's a lot of different decks, Maggie. Um, but yeah, I definitely just look up good... Uh, look up good budget decks, Maggie. And take a good budget deck to a tournament in real life. And you can probably do good with it, man. Budget decks, they're underrated. They're underrated. Um, okay, so... Where I had a Manetric Garb deck for expanded. Where is it? Here it is. I think I kind of screwed up the deck a little bit. Okay, I think we can build it with a 1 1 Garb split line. I screwed up the deck though. Uh, we'll go 3 Manetrics, I think. That's fine. I, I forgot to put Versus Seeker into the deck and Ultra Ball. Like, this deck is an absolute failure. <laughs> like, I screwed up so hard with this deck, it's not even funny. So, we gotta add via Seeker and Ultra Ball. I don't know if I want to play this deck, though, to be honest with you. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. But yeah, the screw-up screw up was real. Don't know what went on there. I literally did a tournament with this deck, and I forgot to put Vers Seeker and Ultra Ball in. I, I wondered why I, I didn't even win the first round, because I forgot to put two of the most important cards in any deck in it. It's is, it is a pretty big fail. It's a pretty big fail. I think I'll just do this. Take out E-Hammer. What else could I throw in the deck? Three floats, I think, is fine. We got three Manetric Spear Links. Headringer. Yeah, I mean, Field Blower's already in the format. I think we'll throw in two mail and that's fine. We can try this deck out. I think there was another uh, another deck I made for for Expanded that wasn't that good. I had a Manetric Electric deck. I want to use a different Expanded deck than the same ones. Passimian is garbage. Do you think Passimian is a good budget deck? Um, uh, Can you just explain what budget deck means? Um, Maggie, Maggie, basically budget deck just means you don't have to get, like, expensive cards for your deck. Like, the most expensive cards you'll find right now are, like, Tapu Lele's and, like, all that stuff. Like, a budget deck basically uses cards that barely even cost you, like, a few bucks. So the deck would be a lot more cheaper than building, like, an actual competitive real deck. Um, yeah, all the cards are inexpensive. But I don't know past about Basimi being garbage. It's a really good anti-garb deck. Um, it's a really good anti-garb deck. Maybe I'll play Lindo Bats. Let's see. I can edit this deck and see if I can play it. Mm, yeah, we can play this. Oh, we need a Juniper, though. Dang it, dude. I want to play this deck because I have the Mewtwo Vivid stuff on it. I have a Mewtwo Vivid sleeve and deck box on it. So I kind of want to play it. Doesn't look like it's going to work, though. Yeah, I have all these decks that like still have these Vivid stuff on it, but... The only problem is, is like... I need to get I need to get the card so I can actually play it. Okay, I'm gonna need this Manetric, which I can't. I can't save these decks, unfortunately. I can't save these decks. If you save them, the vivid stuff goes away. So I, I literally can only play with what I got in here, and I want to use one of these decks. Okay, that doesn't mean bad. Yeah, there's a lot of good budget decks right now. 
Um, you can even build like a Zorak budget deck, and you can use Octillery over Tapu Lele. Zorak is doing really good right now. Um, you can do that. There's a lot of good ideas. Um, yeah, I definitely say build a good budget deck. Nightmare with my low tick. Let's see. Now we're gonna need a Lampin. How do I not have a Lampin? I only have three Lampins. Wow. Shows how much I actually care about Nightmarch. That deck would be so outdated though. I don't want to play it. These decks are so outdated with the Mewtwo stuff on it. So like, they kind of suck. Do I have an Eveltal Gallade deck? Uh, Eveltal Gallade. I can play this, but we don't have the Mewtwo Vivid Sleeves on it though. That kind of sucks. Oh, that's just, that was from the old standard when it was XY on. Hmm. Trying to find a deck. I want to play a deck in this next tournament that has the uh, Vivid stuff on it. Uh, Eveltal Archaeops. Let's see this. Oh, we need another Darkrai to play it. Ooh. We just need a Darkrai. Hmm. I have two Darkrais, but I can't, I can't edit the deck, which kind of sucks. Hmm. I don't mind playing this deck, but I think I will play it, to be honest with you. I just need to get another Darkrai. I think we'll we'll put up a trade for Darkrai and Pubs, and I'll play the deck. Anti-Garb equals equals good deck. Yeah. My boy, I hate Garb so much. Okay, what's a good deck? I think we'll just trade for a Darkrai, and we'll play like that. We'll play a, a, vivid, a vivid Mewtwo deck thing that I built. Uh, do I have any like other Mewtwo vivid sets? Okay, we'll go to... Sorry this is boring, guys, but I'm trying to find the best deck here to play. I'm trying to find a deck that I have the Mewtwo Vivid Sleeves on, too. Like, I play this Mega Ray deck. It's not too outdated, actually. It's actually not too bad. Only three Shamans, so... though. Yeah. There's, like, no GR cards, which is the sad part. <laughs> uh, Lucario Bats? Nah. Okay, I gotta stop opening the deck up. I, I can peek the deck with the viewing thing. I remember when Night March took the game. Dude, Night March used to be one of the best decks. It still is, like, a really formidable deck right now to play. Like, it's not terrible... It's not as good as it once was, though. Uh, that doesn't even have Mewtwo Vivid stuff. Okay, here we go. Eveltal Gallade, Eveltal Speed, Eveltal Max Luxury, Red Rock. Dang it. They all have the Mewtwo Vivid box. But they don't have the Vivid... Ooh, Golurk does. Should I play a Golurk deck? Because it actually has the Vivid Sleeves on it. <laughs> That'd be so bad. Garchomp, Gallade Octillery, Fossil, Entei Charizard. Baby Eveltal, Dark Red Garb. Ooh, let's just play Dark Red Garb. This was a good deck. Yeah, we'll play Dark Red Garb. It's kind of outdated with uh, some of the stuff in it, but that's fine. It's got the Mewtwo stuff on it, so we'll, we'll, we'll enter a tournament with this. I want to enter a tournament with something with Vivid on it, so we're going on it. I always just collected cards, never played. I have like 80 booster pack codes for GCG Online. What do you think they're worth on eBay? Uh, yeah, what packs are they, Maggie? If they're Guardians Rising packs, I would, I would um, redeem them straight away because those are really good. I would redeem them straight away, because those... Guardians Rising has a 1.0 value. If you can get... If you have 80 G Guardians Rising packs on your account, you can definitely build, like, a competitive deck. You can literally get a Tapu Lele for, like, 19, 20 packs. I'll be good. Yeah, depends on what the set, set is. I mean, Roaring Skies won't be bad either. I think mm, Roaring Skies... Um, maybe it's Steam Siege. I don't know. Some of the sets aren't, like, too expensive. I think my opponent here is going to be playing, like, a, a Brazilian Genesect deck. Kind of wish I was still playing my Manetric deck, we'll see, though. We lose the coin flip, though. That's not good. Golurk. I, I wanted to play it. That's an old budget. I know, dude. I remember back when Golurk was actually, like, semi-decently competitive. I have Shauna in this deck. That's how outdated this deck is. I have Shauna in here over N. Oh, my goodness. I am playing outdated decks in tournaments. Holy cow. I'm Okay, I think I'm just going to do tournaments with outdated decks with Mewtwo Vivid stuff on them, because that's just hilarious. I'm going to put up a trade for a dark ride, though, so I can get a, a dark ride thing. Wait, I have to look English names? Okay. Um, budget is my life. Nah, same. I haven't done a budget deck in a while, I don't think. My last one might have... Uh, Typhlosion deck might have been budget. Oh, it's going to be Vespaquin. Hmm. I think Vespaquin. Could also be Rayquaza. It's most likely Vespaquin, though. We're playing outdated decks, okay? <laughs> I'm definitely going to try and get the dark ride so I can play an actual competitive deck. I pulled a non-tradable Tapu Lele. Yo, nice. Yeah, I pulled one too out um, on Friday, dude. Aleandro, I pulled a I pulled a Lele out of a pack too. I was like screaming. I was like, holy cow. Uh, Roaring Skies is 0 0.75. Yeah, and then like Guardians Rising is 1.0. Noble Victories is 1.5. Plasma Freeze is 2.0. I'm pretty sure those are prices. <laughs> Rip my boy Evolutions. So I think Evolutions is like 0 0.5. It's so cheap now. Like Evolutions just sucks. This deck is so cheap. I have Funny Fury Belt. This is the most outdated deck I've ever played in my life. 
But yeah, that's nice. Um, was it a full art Aleandro? Aleandro. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, by the way, dude. Was it full art Lele? Was it sick rare Lele? Was it just a normal Lele? Yeah, I have three normal Leles now. I pull one out of the pack. Mew. It is Vesquin, though. Vesquin's a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. It's one of those matchups I don't know how to feel about. Sycamore. It's got four Pokemon in the discard. Which is rip. I don't know if we can take him out here. I think we have we have normal Garmin in this deck. A Selgor? Oh, it's a Selgor. Ah, I don't have Kelio in here. I mean, I don't think he plays item locks, so... I don't have to worry about that, but I don't have Kelio in here. Let's rip. There's Darkrai. Okay, that's good. I think I just go Sycamore. You know a deck is so cheap when you have to put Shauna in it. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Like, the deck is so cheap, I play Headringer. Just take that in. We do have Zoark, though, which can help us out a bit. Uh, kind of wish we got a Dark Energy in the discard. I don't really know how I feel about going to Oblivion Wing here. I think it's going to attach and pass. Alright, at the very least, we do have Zoark here, which, you know, will allow us to get out of the, um, the lock. He probably plays Wobbuffet, though, which kind of sucks, but... It's whatever. Uh, can we knock out his Asselgore? I think we could. We might be able to get enough damage to take out his Asselgore next turn. Uh, no, it's regular. All right, yeah, that's fine. Evolution should be a subset. Yeah, like, Evolution, there's, like, nothing good in it. Maybe Brock's Grid, and that's really about it. I have, like, 80 codes. All are XY. I bought a booster box of Primal Clash and Phantom Forces. Yeah, Primal Clash isn't too bad. There's nothing really in there that's too worthwhile, but it's not, like, the lowest cheap set. Same thing with Phantom Forces. Um, it's sad that Generations is a better set than Evo, and Generations was a subset. I know, Evo... Just sucks. Evo technically is a subset too because yeah, you got like the old school reprints updated with like more HP and more damage. But yeah, Generations is better because like my boy Jolteon. Jol Jolteon is what makes Generations have some good value to it. Uh, so we see a computer search open. We can knock him out. We can probably do enough damage. I gotta save my float stones though because my opponent might might uh might play Wob. And we need the Zork to get out of the the, the, the lock here from the Selgor. This matchup's a little weird, though. I mean, the fact that we have Sean in the matchup doesn't help us. Okay, Sycamore. Okay, he's lost two Bs. He probably was a Revitalizer, though. This matchup's a little scary. XY base isn't worth anything, TBH. Eh. Yeah, I mean, Eveltal and Raichu are, I think, the only two decent cards in that set. Um, In-game value is 2.5, so IRL price is probably cheap. Yeah. I meant XY Generation cards, not the first set. Oh, Generations is fine. It, generation goes for a fair amount. This guy plays Muscle Band over Choice Band. Wow. His deck must be outdated, too. Or just the Battle of the Outdated Decks. Hoping, though, we can actually survive here. I really need to get rid of that Asselgore, though. Even if I power up as that doesn't really matter. Alright. Another Dark Rise. Cool. We need to hit some Max Elixirs here. We need to hit Max Elixirs so we can knock him out. Okay, there's one. No! What? Max Elixir, get out! Mm, are you kidding me? Oh, dude, why Max Elixir? Why you do this? How much are we doing? We're doing... We're only doing like 70 damage. 70 damage, not enough. That's annoying. I don't even want to burn these floats either. Oh, Max Elixir, why you gotta fail? If we hit that, we could have just took out as a Selgor. We would have been in a way better position. But nah, it sucks. Okay. Uh, there's Zork. We have a switch, which is good too, so if he does go with Selgor. Like, do we take him out? I think next turn we'll knock him out. We'll take him out next turn. Um, hmm. I'll get rid of a Darkrai. We don't need that anymore. We'll get rid of... Get rid of Judge. Judge and Birch and Shauna? My gosh, do I have an outdated deck. Oh my gosh. Jeez. I think I'll pass. Yeah, next turn we'll take out we'll take out that Asselgore. Once we pick up his Asselgore, we'll all be good. Hoping this dude doesn't attack me though. One day I would have to, one day I would have a good deck. No worry, Benji man, just keep grinding, man. I think both are 0.33 in game. Not sure of IRL. Yeah. I don't know, man, Pasta. Um hey, it's not that hard to make a good deck. Eh. Anyways, I bought those because I thought that Pokemon were in the set. I'd like the Pokemon that were in the sets. Uh, yeah, like, the sets all have good cards. Um, there's nothing really, like, bad in them. I, it's, honestly, though, I would definitely say 
trade those generation packs. Like, Jolteon is the really only valuable thing about that set. In before, I'm not doing enough damage. Jolteon is the only valuable thing really in that set to go for. So I would definitely say, you know, trade for them and stuff like that. Wouldn't be bad. Ultra Ball, okay, good. <laughs> like, no, no Lele. Um, but yeah, if, if you have, like, a ton of generation packs, you could use those for trade bait. Just don't open the tradable packs. Yeah, don't open them. Um, like, when you get a bigger collection, like, even then, you don't want to open them. Like, you just want to save up your packs. Okay, he's not doing too much damage, that's Quinn. We can sweep him with Darkrai. We build him enough damage here, I think we'll be okay to win. Depends if he can hit a DC. Probably can't attack him with Mew, because we head ringered it, too, which is nice. And he has to retreat in a combi. Alright, can we hit a Lysander here? Nah, rip. That's fine. We'll just continue to knock him out with Darkrai. That's fine. We can just keep building up damage here and everything is good. I'm looking for a dark energy. That's not a dark energy. I okay, we down to be a seekers. I don't even think I played one live sander. Like this way this is what I get for playing outdated decks in tournaments. Decks with Shauna's and Judge in them. You know that the deck is cheap when you play Shauna and Judge in your deck. This I made this deck before Fates Collide came out. It's just hilarious. Revitalizer. Hmm. Even if he a Selgord's me, we have a switch, and we have Zorak in our hands, so I'm not really too worried about getting Selgord. Like, it's the least of my words right now. As long as he just keeps mulliganing too, this is perfect. Like, we're just building up a ton of damage. Okay, another Pokemon I don't really need. Alright, let's just Dark Pulse him. Take him out again. Alright, we need either another Energy or Via Seeker. Max Elixir? I mean, I guess. I really need to hit an Energy here. My opponent, I mean, it might be too late for him to win, but still, I don't want to risk it. I need to get an advantage where I take out that Mew, and then I need one prize left. I wonder what a code is worth on average RL on eBay. I don't know. Dep yeah, it depends on the set. Um, I only have Phantom Force and Primal. I mean, yeah, I would definitely just trade those off. Maggie, definitely trade them off. Um, just trade them off for the cards you need to get your decks built. That's what I would do, and that's what I do do. Um, when I need a card, instead of just hoping I pull it out of a pack, trade it off. That's what I would do. So, you want to build a good deck? Do that. And just... You read Generations wrong? Oh, rip. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be buying some packs on eBay soon. I have like 50 bucks that I'm going to be spending on like a MasterCard. Oh, he hit the DC. He's only doing 130 though, which is still nice. The cool thing is, is I can just go into the other Darker. Reverse Valley. Now nah, we'll go for Sycamore. Kind of got to dump this hand. It's all good, though. I don't want to lose my Switch. That didn't even hit. Rip. I think I'm just going to go into the other dark right knock him out. I'm going to hold on to this. Like, Switch is just too important in this matchup. Especially when he just whips out the Selgor. Uh, I'm just going to Ultra Ball, grab Veltal, I guess, sure. I don't think I'll need Garb either. Mew getting shut down doesn't really matter. All right, Dark Pulse. And now we all we got to do is just knock out a Mew and we're all good. Um, I don't know if I have any Via Seeker's prize, but the one time I need a Via Seeker to come out of my prizes is now. Another energy, not bad. Let's me do more damage with Dark Ride. How about, how, and how many Envy packs would I have to need to pull for at an average pull rate? Maybe 1 in 25, 1 in 30, something like that. Uh, 116 packs is an ultra rare pull. Yeah, I like, guess something like that, I guess. Um, when I did my, oh, you got a Sycamore rip. I mean, we're still in a really dominant position. Literally, we just need knock out me and we win. Um, but when I opened up an old victory packs, I got, I think I opened maybe like 25 around 30, and I pulled one fuller damn, but I also got fuller tracking and fuller Cobalion out of those two. What's everyone's favorite special condition? I would say Confusion right now. Confusion is probably the most powerful. Uh, just because it does like the most effectiveness. Because it forces your opponent to either have to retreat or flip to attack. And the flips can be detrimental. Alright, does my opponent have a DCE here? He does. Alright, we're going to get decked and covered. But he doesn't have a Wobbuffet down, so he can easily get out of this, this lock. So it's really not the end of the world. Unless this dude drops a Wobbuffet, we got our switch. We're basically in a good spot right now. I don't know if my opponent can actually win, to be honest with you. I don't think they can win. Um, but if we can top deck via Seeker or Lysander, we can take out his Mew. We win the game. We can move on with an outdated deck. I wouldn't open NV. I don't know, past It wastes tons of value for a little return. I mean, I want to do a Noble Victories pack opening video. That's the thing. I would keep them. I would keep them. But if I'm going to buy codes off of eBay, I might as well just open up the Noble Victory packs. You know, I, I want to do a, a Noble Victory pack only video and try and pull something good. But I don't have Vespaquin. I would have brought out Shelmet, but I ain't complaining. And we'll build up a Darkness Blade. That's fine. 
Yeah, we can go stand in. I mean, we can knock him out with Zorak, but uh, we, we're not going to do that. And I'm just going to hold on to the Switch, just because Switch, Switch is pretty important right now. I don't know, in case like he does drop a lob, I'm going to hold on to the Switch, just so I have an out. Now, there's VS Seeker. All right, if we grab that prize early, we would win the game. But we basically win. We just need one more prize, and it's all over. An outdated deck that plays Shauna and Judge as draw support and Birch for draw support is about to beat a pretty modern deck. This is kind of funny. My opponent can see. We don't, have, we don't even have experience in this deck. You know a deck is outdated when it's that. All right, so we'll move on here. And I am going to get a Darkrai from Legendary Treasures, I think. Hold on. I need to go back to the deck. I need to see if it's a Darkrai from Legendary Treasures or not. So we're going to play the Eveltal Maxis deck. Because that's pretty much one of the best decks in Expanded. Even though it's not going to have the Guardians Rising update, it's all good. Uh, Zork Galley. Was it this one? No, wait, wrong deck. It was, it was here. Uh, Max Luxor. Yeah, here we go. So, let me see. Was it the Darkrai? It was. Okay, so we gotta get one more Legendary Treasures Darkrai. And we are golden. And then we can play this kind of outdated Eveltal Maxi's deck. So we'll do that right now. And then we can play that. And that is actually a decently competitive deck that I can probably get a fair amount of wins with. So we'll just get ourselves a nice little Legendary Treasures Darkrai. Which, you know, it doesn't really go for much right now. So it's all good. Uh, let's see. So many Dark... Name card, holy cow. Alright, where is it? Where's my boy Darkrai? Legendary Treasures? Okay, good, we got it, alright. Um, packs. What pack should I give for this? I guess... I'll give a break point. I don't want to overpay it, but... <sighs> give a break point. Actually, here, we'll, we'll give a Sun and Moon pack. Hopefully that goes through, and like, by the time this tournament ends. So we can get that Dark Rye. And then we can play like an actual decent outdated deck that doesn't have any Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising, or Evolution cards in it. So it'll all be good. 25 to 30 is actually low considering this is entirely luck based. I would say into the 50s and 60s. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, man. GG no re. Yeah, man. GG. On average, of course. LDF. You don't really need to save up, though. You have decks. You can afford losing profit. I don't know, though, man. I mean, once new sets come out, I'm going to need a lot of cards. Plus, Plasta, one thing I really want to do is get all these, like, secret rare items from GR. Mainly the Max Potion and a Field Blower and Aqua Patch would be nice. I used to TC on G Online and learn how to play. I don't think I want to build decks there and play online. I want real-life cards. That's why I asked if it's worth to sell on eBay. Man, I don't know, Mangy. I haven't um, sold stuff on eBay before my life. I haven't even bought on eBay before my life. Look at that bad trade. Um, but honestly, I would say, I don't know. If it's RL, I guess you can... I mean, it depends if you can, like, buy the cards you need. Like, if you want to build a good budget deck, maybe, I would do that. Uh, well, then save up your lunch money or wage, Kappa. Um, the more you play IRL, the more your online collection will. That is if you buy packs and use codes. Yeah, exactly. Like, you buy packs, use codes, all will be good. I guess maybe the best thing to do is just keep playing in real life. Get a good budget deck. Get a deck that's really cheap to play, that doesn't have many cards in it that are worth that much. Get, you know, get some good wins with the deck. Get some, you know, maybe some, you know, league wins so you can get more packs. And... Um, I mean, I don't, I haven't played IRL in so long, I, w I don't know, honestly, how I, how I could, uh, put it to, um, you know, trade off the packs and whatnot. What? What is this? Oh, oh in before he snuck, I remember these people would sneak in, it was, his name was like GR No or something, this, the, the, the man would sneak in a secret Ultra Ball, the trade would look like this, and he'd sneak in a secret Ultra Ball, he was the scumbag of PDCGO. Oh my god, I hated that guy so much. I think he got banned. Either that or he's just not playing because the people realized how stupid he was. Oh, his trades were so bad. Oh, I remember those guys. I remember that guy, GR. No. Oh, the guy was something else. Uh, the only codes worth selling are newer, older sets. Like, a yeah, sets that have a lot of value. No one is interested in Phantom Forces or Primal Clash. Yeah, like, those. there's nothing really good in the sets, you know, that are really that's worth anything. I mean, if that was for four GR packs, I would have done that trade in a heartbeat. Uh, let's see, anything else? Nope, no good trades, of course. There's never any, never any good snipes on pubs, it's rip. Alright, what about this? How? Is it full art? And before, yep, okay, no, it's rubble stuff. So. Uh, let's see, nothing good there. Do, 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 there's no good trades on pubs. 22 for full art, okay, that's overpaying. Man, these trades, they, they got something else to them. 
two metagross for secret toros not very good uh really you want 15 pa dude I, th I would add like maybe two or three guardians rising packs for fuller lately that is just oh my god why do people do these trades i swear obviously they they, they think people are stupid enough to accept them <sighs> Man, these trades. you'd like trade for nah, i guess that's not bad 12 packs for fuller eval tall yeah no thanks okay next round of the tournament's about to begin here we go hopefully this next round is good what's the worst supporter card in the game um, probably Cedric Juniper, if I'm going to be quite honest with you. In, like, PDCGO, probably Cedric Juniper. That card is pretty worthless. Steven? Nah, Steven's actually not bad. I have actually seen decks play, like, one Steven in them. I wouldn't call it a bad card by any means. I wouldn't call it a good card either. It's, like, meh. I, nah, I, w I don't know about the Ether Roller Pasta. I don't know if Steven's really all that bad. I think it's, like, not the worst card ever printed. I would honestly say Cedric Juniper. Like, that card is really weird. Speaking of really weird, I guess free win for us again. Hopefully, though, by the time this tournament's over, we get that Dark Arts so we can actually play, like, a decent competitive deck. That'd be great. Yeah, definitely Steven, though. Steven may be top five. I might, you know, this is making me want to do a top five worst supporter cards in the game. I probably will do a video on that. I want to do a top five best decks that use Seeker, uh, that use Max Potion. I want to do that really badly, but eh, it doesn't matter. So, we'll see, though. Kind of sucks I'm burning a few of these cards. Oh, man. That sucks. Alright, that's fine. It's whatever. Alright, let's just uh, battle comp him here. We'll get rid of... I'll get rid of a Trubbish. We'll get rid of a... I'll get rid of a Birch. Oh, my God, dude. This deck is so outdated. Jeez, this is the most outdated deck I've ever built. Now my dog's barking. Awesome. Alright, let's go Sycamore here. Dark Ride would be great. Nope. That's what I get for playing outdated decks. Max Lixir. Yeah, no thanks. I might have to just shot it next turn. This hand is that bad. <laughs> Steven and Quad Lapras. That would be the most trolliest thing ever. Steven, a search supporter and energy, right? Yeah, like, that's why it's okay. You can grab a support for the next turn. Imakumi. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, those two aren't that good. They're, that Professor Oak card isn't that good either. Professor Oak's um, plot or something? I don't remember what it's called. It, like, it's that really bad card that, like, you have you discard your hand or you drop the seven cards in your hand, but then your turn ends. Like, that card is absolutely trash. Yeah, Steven sees playing loads of slow decks. Primal Glo yeah, like, Steven isn't bad. I don't think Steven's a bad card by any means. I think, like, the card is actually decent. Oh, I didn't want to lose Headringer, man. This matchup is so weird because my opponent's deck sucks. Oh, man. But Cedric Juniper, yeah. Ced like, Imakumi is supposed to be like a troll card, so I can... Oh, man, really? Man, I guess we're going Shauna. I'm just going to attach so we can maybe Dark Displayed him next turn, but... I would say Cedric Juniper is the worst card, worst supporter. Because that card, like, literally saw no play. Okay, well, this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, rip. Alright, I think I'll grab Shaman here. I mean, I could grab Dark Rag. Ah, we'll grab Shaman. We don't have a supporter for next turn, which we desperately need. Alright, Shaman. If you can give us a Dark Rag or an Evel Tall, I will be happy. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll get rid of Floatstone. I don't even think my opponent's playing any um, ability-based cards, so it's not a big deal. And yeah, we'll grab Eveltal. We'll just build up Eveltal here. If he plays Burning Energy, he's going to keep the energy on, so we may as well build up a nice, big, beefy Eveltal. Max Lixir Whiffed. I think this deck plays, like, what, nine or eight Dark Energies? <laughs> so bad and outdated, it's hilarious. I love it. I love it. Biased AF. One of the best decks to use is Max Potion Metagross. Yeah, that deck is great anti-garb. It's also pretty good against Sylveon, too, which are two really annoying decks. What does it do, Cedric? Uh, yeah, you'd have to look it up, man. It's, I think it's something to do with, like, I, I not rock, paper, scissors, something like that, though. It's like, it's like a, I, yeah, I think it's rock, paper, scissors. It's like the weirdest card ever printed. It's terrible, though. It's terrible, Benji, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, Rainbow Energy? Okay, thanks for putting damage on your, uh, your turret. Right, at least we have a good hand. At least we have a VS Seeker. The Shaman gifted us. And we'll just knock him out here with Darkness Blade. But then he knocks me out with Turtonator. Like, why is my opponent playing this bad deck? Build a deck that takes skill? Uh, I guess we'll just Darkness Blade him, I guess. Sure. Doesn't really matter. We'll hit him with a Darkness Blade. 
Oh, he's retreating. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind that. I mean, Shell Trap won't knock me out, so I'll let him. I'll let him do that. Twenty. We'll take eighty. We'll have enough damage to for him not knock me out with another Shell Trap. Ooh, Dark is pretty nice. Spread out the damage a bit. I think we'll just Oblivion Wing him here. We'll O Wing him. Get some more energy in play. Right. Never mind. I should have attached. All right, rip. Okay, let's just go Max Elixir here. Oh my God, these Max Elixirs are so bad. Jeez, I think I don't play that much Dark Energy, but even still, it's like wow. Belt, I'll take it. Mail, I'm hoping for Ultra Ball here. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna get rid of Dark Rye and Dark Energy, and I'm gonna get a Zorua. Sure, because we still have our DCs left. How many darks are left? Two? What? DCs are both prized? Oh no, we used one. Never mind. This deck is so dated and not special charge in it. Oh my gosh. Alright, Oblivion Wing. Here we go. And I guess we just attach to my boy Eveltal EX. And then we'll hopefully try and knock him out next turn. If we can. The outdated deck. If we can win a turn with an outdated deck, this is going to be the craziest thing ever. By the way, is there a difference between EX and GX? Uh, not really. Um, actually, no, there is a big, uh, CJJ, yo, shout out to you, CJJ, but yeah, I would say there is, because EXs don't have GX attacks, these GX attacks is, GX, GX taxes, GX attacks are really, really powerful, but you can only use one per game, EXs don't, EX is basic, lax, GX attack, yeah, um, there's no evolution EXs other than Megas, so that's how that goes. Uh, this is kind of annoying, though, I'm not gonna lie, my opponent's kind of playing a weird deck. Alright, what do we top deck? Judge? Is there even a point to judging him? Like, what else could we play? I guess. It's the weirdest judge. Hopefully this dude is not going to fire off that judge. I'll be pretty salty. He's not going to knock us out, though, because we have to get the belt on. Hoping he doesn't, though. And I guess we Evolball him for a whopping 120. And then we knock him out next turn with maybe even baby Eveltal. With I'm probably going to do that. I got to be careful, though. I might get decked out here. <laughs> this outdated deck. If we win a turn with an outdated deck, guys, this is going to be the funniest thing ever. Both take two prize when KO'd, yeah. Ah, so like the Z moves. Damn, Alola is so different. Alola's weird, because you also got Alolan Pokemon, which their basic forms need no energy to attack for their first attacks. The only problem with Metagross is Flareon and Volcanion, yeah. Metagross gets wrecked by fire, and fire is pretty popular right now. Found it. Um, nice. Yeah, it's weird. After stream, can you do fan matches? Uh, nah, man. Um, okay, he just went Shell Trap. Okay, that's good. But, uh, nah, I can't, man, I'm sorry. Um... Um, after this, I gotta eat dinner, and then I'm probably not gonna be on PDC Joe. I might have to record a few videos. I have a special kind of video series lined up for you guys. Um, so if you guys like that, uh, we haven't done Lysander, I guess. We VS Seeker for Birch. Sure. This deck is so bad. Uh, let's just battle comp, but yeah, I'm sorry, CJJ. I'm gonna be doing a viewer battle stream next, though. The next stream I do, I gotta get rid of something, but what do I get rid of? I can just get rid of Sycamore. But yeah, I am going to be doing a viewer battle stream for my next stream, CJJ. Just not today. I'm doing a tourney grinds. That's Cedric. Draw three cards. Your opponent guesses wrong. It's so random. Like, I, it's not like the worst, I guess, card ever printed, per se. But it is pretty bad. It's like a, it's a meme card. It's a meme card. I'm just going to bring in Baby Eveltal here. Knock him out that way. And then we'll just keep standing in. Retreating. I don't think I have any darks in the discard, which kind of sucks. Alright, hopefully we can hit our other DCE. Oh, no, we do. Okay, never mind. Hopefully we can hit a DCE here, and I guess a fire, or a dark energy? Two energies wouldn't be bad. Garb, okay, that's not good. Kind of regret putting Trubbish down, because he doesn't play abilities. It's all about heights. Yeah, like, it can pay off for you, I guess, but, like, the fact that you gotta do some crazy, like, guessing game things is so random. Like, makes, it's like, it's so memeable. Hmm, kind of scared of Grenade Hammer. At least our Eveltal should live. Fan Club. We gotta find our Lysander, too. Kind of wish I had N in here. We might get decked out. Ho-Ho and Lele. Okay, my my opponent is, like, trolling me so hard right now. I hope I don't lose. When you live stream me next? Um, CJJ, either tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, I just don't like live streaming when people are home, because people, like, call my name, and then they'll come into my room, even though I say that I'm doing something kind of annoying but yeah i would definitely say next week not next week what am i saying tuesday or wednesday at the latest wednesday at the latest um it's basically a free draw three cards because no one will ever guess your pokemon height yeah that's true but still flare gun 
It's all good, I got a dark energy in my hand. That's fine, I'll just bring out dark right and attack him. Did he even hit an energy to quaking punch me? To hit me with a quaking punch? He didn't. It's awesome. Let's see. He did. Alright, we can't play VS Seeker, but we're gonna knock him out soon anyways, so at least we live too, which is nice. We out here live in. So yeah, we'll go stand in. And even if he flag me, we got a lot of ways to get the energy back, so it's all good. And I think we'll just hit him with Dark Ride, because it's going to do the most damage. I'm going to put another Dark Energy on it, because I'm expecting my opponent to flag grunt me, and we'll keep the energy on. 150, we almost knocked him out. We almost knocked him out. If only we had Choice Band, he would have been gone, but of course, I'm playing out today. So, for example, Metagross EX is basic. Mega EX has to evolve, and GX are basic, but Metagross GX still has to evolve. Yeah, basically, Maggie, basically. Um... Yeah, you're better off playing How. Dude, How is better because you're just guaranteed three cards. Lily's even better because you can draw more than three cards. They need to make one that lets you draw like four cards. If he flare guns me, he's actually going to hurt his own Lele. That would be hilarious. He is. This guy is a meme. He's a living, breathing meme. I think we just keep pounding him with Darkrai. That's fine. He didn't quaking. He didn't grenade hammer me, which is the best part about this. And I'm hoping we can get enough energy to do some damage here. Like, I have a few left. We have two in the discard. Like, I could have O-Wing him here, but we're not really losing... We're kind of just going to drop an energy anyways. Not really going to put us in a better advantage. 30 damage. All right. What do we top deck? Belt? Okay, we can't play that quite yet. So we just Dark Pulse him. We'll knock him out for 130 damage. And I guess we just... If we can find enough energy here, we can take out that Tapu Lele. Let's see. DCE? All right. Looks like our... Well, actually, we can just smack him with the Belt Pulse. Belt doesn't knock him out, though, I don't think. Even with the DCE, we'd only be doing 20, 30, 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 140. Yeah, we're going to be short. Unless my opponent puts another DCE on, Eveltal wrecks him. Hoping he actually does that. Put another energy on your tap Lily, I dare you. I dare you to do it. Yeah, you're better off playing how. It's just... I don't know why they keep making Charon and how and stuff. Like, they're so weird. Neuvern, GX, New Toad. Yeah, it depends if they, uh, oh, he lies in my poor Trubbish. I was kind of worried about that. Well, we got stand in, so fine. And he put energy on this dude, walked into my trap. I mean, he's not even knocking my Trubbish out. This dude barely even sticking a prize this game, which is kind of awesome. The problem with Neuvern, though, is stage two. Nah, Neuvern's a stage one, Pasta. Neuvern's a stage one. Unless, like, it's different, but it's a stage one. But yeah, Neuvern is looking nice, but double dragon rotates. It might not work. Double Dragon Rotate is not going to work, man. That's the only problem. I think we just go dark right here. Hold on to this hand for a sec. I'm just going to burn a few cards. So it's fine. We could knock him out of the Veltal. We were close. We would have been like 20 damage short. But we can just hit him here with a big old Dark Pulse. If we had Lysander, we would knock him out. He's probably going to retreat into the Reshi Ram. I don't even know if our Lysander is in the deck. It's not in our discard, unfortunately. We need to knock out his Tapu Lele. Unless this dude wants his energy to drive me and, you know, lose. Wait at stage one. Yeah, Neuvern is a stage one. But if double dragon energy rotates, Neuvern might not be too good. Maybe with Max Elixir, though. Because you can Max Elixir the Noi Bat. Maybe that won't be bad. I don't know, though. I don't think Neuvern is going to work. It depends if we get... We could get a secret rare double dragon energy. Double dragon, in my opinion, needs to stay in the format for dragons to actually have an advantage. Like, if, they, if it rotates, it's just... It's not good. You can actually do Purifying Fire, which still gives us a two-shot. Kind of annoying, though. Via Seeker. Is he going to Lysander my Trubbish again? He is. I'm surprised he didn't go Flare Gun. All right, that's fine. Lysander, whatever you want. You're not taking a prize, and I have Stand-In. So it does not matter what you do. They evolve from non-GX cards. Yeah, like, you can just Max po max Elixir to uh, your Noi Bat before you go into Noi Burn. That's kind of going to be the way to do it if Double Dragon rotates out. It might become a secret rare, though. I hope it does. I think it needs to be a secret rare. Alright, what is my opponent doing? He's the... I don't know why I didn't go into Reshiram, though, because that could actually, you know, only give a one prize card. But, hey, you know what? Be my guest. I mean, uh, we basically have a win. I don't see if my opponent can actually win this. We have two strong attackers built on the board. We have an energy gainer. We have a way to get out of any lock he tries to do. We basically have a quick win. What's he bringing out? The Trubbish? Be my guest. Okay, that was a pretty worthless play, because we could just do stand-in, retreat back into my Darkrai, and we take him out. 
Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I mean, if he puts energy on, he can retreat, delay, delay, delay the inedible again, which is kind of annoying. Maxco, Max, Hi, little Dark Fury, I'm a big fan. Yo, shout out to you, Max. Thanks a lot for uh, being a fan, man. It means a lot, man. It really does. I appreciate all the support. Norvern weren't seeing too much play, even with Double Dragon. Now, I don't know. Even with the Fairy Weakness, it's not that bad. Um, you could probably maybe run like a Metal type. I don't know. Please keep your please keep your hole in the active spot so I can just knock it out and win the game. Because you're just delaying the inevitable. We basically have any out to him trying to deck me out unless he rocket handiwork me. Fifty damage just uh, isn't enough, and the format is changing to a more supporter heavy format. I don't know. So a basic Pokemon like Lapras GX need to evolve from a normal or not? No, it doesn't. Lapras and Tauros don't evolve. Potion, really? I think we still knock him out anyways. That doesn't matter. And you evolve into Metagross GX. Yeah, like Metagross GX has to evolve from Beldum and stuff like that. Is he going to retreat? He can try and stall me. It doesn't matter, though. Especially if we find our Lysander. It's rip. Okay, that's why basics are better than that's what I meant. Yeah. Evolutions are actually starting to make a big comeback, too. Like, stage 1s, but also stage 2s. You got Decidueye. You got Vileplume. You got Metagross. Vikavolt is seeing some plays. Sogaleo and Lunal are also pretty decent. So, stage 2s might be, you know, making a pretty big comeback in the format right now. Because, like, before Guardians Rising, it was all, like... Basic Pokemon dominated, now it's like evolutions might have a chance. Which is pretty good, I'm happy. Alright, it looks like we just win the game. Bye bye. Alright, there you go. Hey, Lysander was prized. We only have one in the deck, which is kind of funny. This deck is so bad. Alright, here we go. We made it to the finals. Will we win it with a deck that's super outdated? And did our trade go through on pups? Let's see. It didn't. Dang it. Except that trade. Accept the trade so I can get a dark eye. Dark Tobias C. Alright, let's see what my opponent will be running here. <laughs> if he plays a fighting deck, it rip. Alright, here we go, guys. The finals with an outdated deck. We managed to pull it off. He's playing Dark Eye Dragons, which is actually a little scary. I actually don't know how that'll go. Bases, basics aren't always better. Decidueye is a stage 2 GX, and so is Metagross, but they do work. Yeah, like Metagross with like a Lolan Vulpix and teammates and rare candy is what makes Metagross super, super good to, and easy to get into play. Force Giant Plants is what makes Decidueye super easy to get into play, so it's like really good. It's really good on that front. I actually, I got putting Garbodor down now. What's everyone's favorite break card? Uh, I like Zorg break a lot. I think Zorg's pretty cool. Especially now that Zorg is making a pretty big name for itself. Yeah, Zorg. GG, no re. Yep. Probably Lugia break. Lugia break is pretty cool. Um, Baby Lugia with intensifying burn isn't bad, but the like, GXs are too popular right now. E like, EX, like, things like Reg Ice and thing, I don't think can work anymore, but... Yeah, Lugia break's pretty cool. That's cool. From what you told earlier with the Xs and basics, I thought evolutions were dead. No, evolutions are probably on top right now. That's why Espeon EX is really good right now, because you can de-evolve evolution decks and beat them that way. Man, this matchup is scary. The fact that he has, like, Hoopa. Like, my deck has, like, not been updated since probably Fates Collide. <laughs> we haven't updated this deck. This is, like, a year-old deck. Hasn't been updated since Face Clyde. If we can pull off a win, I don't know what to say anymore. Probably not, though. This matchup is going to go bad. Our hand is pretty awful, too. I'm probably still going to go Sycamore, though. But we need to get that Legendary Treasure Dark Rice so we can play some good old Eveltal Archeops, and maybe we'll have better luck with that deck. Dark Patch. Yikes. I mean, you can maybe fill his bench up here with Hoopa. And then we get Zorak. Zoro is probably not going to survive, though, unfortunately. I guess he can end me. That would count for us playing end, which would be a little funny. Mine's Greninja Break. Greninja's pretty cool, too. Um, Greninja's also a really powerful deck. Like, just stage 2 decks in general are starting to make a pretty big comeback. I'm glad. Like, I'd rather have a format dominated by evolutions than a format dominated by basic EXs, in my opinion. I think that's more fair. Two versus Seekers. That's not bad. I'm glad to see that. It's probably a little bit of a build up a ton of energy here, though. Max Elixir, Ooh. okay, good. He's probably still gonna get an energy next turn, so it doesn't even matter. Another one, please don't hit it. Don't hit it. Wow, okay, nice. That's three Max Elixirs, right? Two, okay, good. We got lucky there. Headringer? This is a troll, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna go Sycamore. Rip. This is so sad. We gotta, we play Shauna, man. For an outdated deck. This is hilarious. What? No Pokemon or energy? Dude, come on, Ultra Ball. Okay, thank God. We don't have Secret Ultra Ball in this deck either, which is kind of funny. Um, 
get rid of. I kind of want. Now nah, we'll just go into baby Veltal. I'm gonna go into a baby Veltal here. If it's in the deck, okay, good. This is so sad. My opponent's like, this man plays Shauna, but he's got Mewtwo Vivid stuff. This dude has like stuff that is uh, really Max Elixir, dude. <sighs> Max Elixir is. I don't think I've hit a Max Elixir with this deck at all in these three games. That's kind of sad. GXs are cool. Yeah, GXs are pretty sweet. Okay, there's Darkrai. Uh, we'll put this down. I don't really care about doing the 40 extra damage. Sadly, we don't have a Dark Energy in our discard pile to put it on to our Darkrai, but we can probably maybe Zorak him next turn and knock him out. We don't have any way to really knock him out. I don't think we have Muscle Band in here either. If you're getting Legendary Treasures packs, uh, wait, wait, what do you mean? Max, Max? Nah, I'm not. This tournament, yeah, L LTR sucks, but... <laughs> Ooh, Skyfield. Alright, just fuel my Zorak even more, please, Kappa. Um, nah, the, the tournaments right now are Noble Victories with Flash Fire. I do need to change the thumbnail, though, because I'm not actually going to be grinding uh, Guardians Rising. We are grinding Noble Victories, though. But I will change it up to actually be more, like, accurate. You said Stage 2 is, like, Vile Plume are coming back. Is that the Vile Plume from Red, the Regirock deck? I have the deck IRL. I heard it's bad, but overall Vile Plume may be it. Yeah, the irritating volume, the uh, volume, the irritate, the item lock vile plume is the one that's like making a pretty big scene right now. Um, how are you? Yo, I'm good, man. Um, yeah, it's the one. Yeah, like item lock vile plume, the one from uh, Ancient Origins, not from the uh, Tri or Undaunted set. The one from Ancient Origins is the one that's seeing the most play right now. And we get knocked out. We have no way to come back from this. I guess we just hope we hit Zork. I guess this is pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. There's no point in putting Garb down. I don't think we're going to win this game. There's, like, nothing I can do. I don't even think there's a point to doing that. <laughs> Alright, we got to hit our Zorak here, or an Ultra Ball. I think we can do it. I think I'll just concede, though, if we don't. Like, really nothing I can do. Like, if we Moonless Madness him, maybe it would have been okay. Okay, we got the Zorak. We're good. Might have a shot here, too. Let's see. Alright, please don't be prized, Zorak. <gasps> Thank gosh. I think we knocked him out. He's got enough Pokemon down. You can take us out Giratina, though, which... Rip. And then we can knock him out the Veltal. If this Max Luxor hits! Yes! Okay, finally we caught a break and Max Luxor decided to hit. Alright, good. Mind Jack, bye-bye, taking out two energies. And also, takes him out the Giratina, we knock him out the Veltal, and maybe we'll be okay after that. Then we just need to knock out his Shaman. Maybe the comeback is real, folks. I didn't think we'd be able to. The Max Luxor hit was huge. Good with Decidueye, yeah. Decidueye Vileplume is the main Vileplume build. There's also Vileplume Trevenant, Vileplume Glaceon Jolteon, Vileplume Tauros. Vileplume is only good in decks that run four giant plants, yeah. Yo, hey at... Yo, shout out to you, man. Thanks for stopping by today on the stream, man. Yo, how you doing? How you doing? You could end me to four, I don't know. I finally can Chaos Wheel me, though. We're gonna lose our Zorks. Zork really came in clutch here. It's kinda sad we're gonna see him go, but I think Eveltal can just give us the rest of the wins. Yeah, he's gonna Chaos Wheel me, and then we knock him out with Eveltal. We can't put Belt on. I should have done that last turn. I don't know if I got it off the prizes, though. E Beltol still knocks me out. Thanks to the BB Beltol doing 40 damage. I got a Drampa Hyper Rare from a random Sun and Moon pack. It went crazy. I went crazy. Yeah, dude, Drampa is really, really good right now. Drampa, Zorak, and Drampa Garb are two good decks. Drampa, you can tech in almost any deck, too, which is really cool. I can build a Grass Fighting deck from the energy I have. Yeah, I mean, the best fighting types um, currently are Zygarde, Lycanroc, best Grass types, Bulu, Lurantis, Decidueye, Vileplume. AZ, it's gonna bring back Shaman. Okay, that kinda sucks. Takes away our wind condition. Oh, he's gonna put it back down, okay. Uh, have we lost our Lysander? We haven't, okay. So that's good. Because we're running low on VS Seekers. Max Lixer, if this hits, that could be pretty bad. It looks like it does. Alright, at least, you know, we still got short on the Max Lixer hits regardless. Dark Patch. Hmm. If he hits me with that Dark Rye, that could really throw me off. Please, Chaos Will Me. Thank you. Sadder Zorak went down, because we had one shot with it, but it's sad. I mean, at least we got the one shot we needed. Once we cleared that Dark Route, it was really good. The fact this thing needs three energy means Eveltal eats it up regardless. There's Garb. Okay, I'm not going to put that down. I'm just going to Battle Compressor here, get rid of stuff I don't want to draw into. Okay, we still have three Darks left, so we should be okay. We still have Max Lixer left, too. I'm going to get rid of a Dark Rye. I really want to put that Funny Fairy Belt down. I think we have one left, though. Alright, what can we find off here? Nothing, apparently. Lysander's good, though. I think I'm going to get rid of Sika and Battle Comp. And I guess we'll get a baby Eveltal here. So we can maybe O-Wing in the future. Sure. 
Hmm. If we had a muscle band, we'd be able to knock out that shaman. All right. What are these two prizes going to give me? Anything good would be great. Dark. Okay. More energy. And belt. Hey, look at that. Look at that. The win is in the books. Hopefully. We hit this dark eye once with the belt hall. Then we lie standard out the following turn. Or we build up our dark eye. The win, I think, is possible. Double dragon's going to let him do more damage. Lysander? Oh, he's going to knock out Shaman. Ooh. Pretty bad. Hmm. 120 damage. The belt might save us, though. I wish we had end, but we don't. I guess we can get judged. That'd be good. Ooh. Let's just load up an Evelt doll here. Can we knock out the Shaman? Evil Ball's doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110. Shaman is knocked out, I hope. If I'm doing the math wrong, rip my boy Harambe. I'm pretty sure Evil Ball knocks him out. Yes! Dude, the outdated deck wins a tournament! What the heck? I just won a tournament with a deck that hasn't been updated since Face Glide came out. Take that in. What in what just happened? What did that just dude? I thought that game was over, but no, we managed to actually pull off a pretty clutch win. Check trade. Okay. Alright, oh dog, if you're in the stream, I'll check it out right now. Oh my goodness though. A outdated deck just smoked a de oh my god. I can't believe we just won a tournament with an outdated deck. I can I'm I i want to just play more outdated decks now for the memes. <gasps> Yo, oh my boy. Okay, I'll have to counter that. I don't have a... Actually, do I have a Meow Stick I can trade? Hmm. He's gonna want a Meow Stick, though. Hold on. Let me... Meow. Oh, uh, we do. Okay, we got one. I'll give him two. Uh... But, yo, Odog, thanks. If you're watching the stream, thanks for those Magnus bases, man. Um... Didn't have a tradable Meow Stick. Do you want the two instead? Ah, yo, shout out to you though, old dog. Thanks for the Magma's bases. Um, you think I should buy the Decidueye theme deck and mix it up with Reggie Rock, Paul, and Plume? Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, well, ah, you need Decidueye GXs though, Maggie. You can, if you can get the codes on PDCGO, trade off the packs for Decidueye GXs, and uh, get like cheaper stuff like Tauros. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you a Decidueye Plume build that I got. Dang, my room is so hot right now. I want to turn my fan on because I am sweating right now. But I can't turn my fan on because it'll, it'll get mixed up with the mic. I'll show you an average Decidueye Plume list. Decidueye Ninetales is good, but it does not play Vile Plume. Decidueye Plume. This is my Decidueye Plume list I play right now. It's got Turnator in it against grass matchups like Lorantis. You can Shell Trap them. And Shell Trap with uh, Feather Arrow actually works. But yeah, this is a pretty good one. He meant the GX version. That is the good one. Yeah, the, the normal Decidueye with Force Giant Plants is an okay-ish budgety deck, I guess. But this is a pretty standard Decidueye Plume deck. There's really no way to make a budget. Like, you need the Leleys, you need the Shamans. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty standard Decidueye Plume list. This is the one that I play right now. The only thing I would take out is Tauros, and I guess you could throw in um, Tauros for, like, I don't know, Lugia? I don't know, we already got the Lele. But yeah, this is my uh, normal Decidueye Plume list. The one that I like playing the most right now is this one with, like, Turnator in it. Um, Turnator's a really cool tech. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty good Decidueye Plume list right now. So, yeah. But we got another tournament to do. I'm going to play another outdated deck if I can find one here that'll work. Garchomp, Fossil, Gallade, Octillery. <laughs> I kind of want to play Golurk just for the memes. It'd be so bad, though. Like, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Lando, Regirock. Hmm. I think I'll just play this deck. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty updated. Yeah, I mean... Does it have N? It does. Okay, we'll we'll play Lando Reggie Rock then. It's another outdated deck, but we're gonna we're just gonna do some outdated decks today. You've got so many EXs. Yeah, I know, man. It's from the grind, man. Oh, oh, I guess I'll spoil a video I got for you guys coming up soon. A Lunala deck. It's literally Lunala with uh, Lolan Vulpix. That video should be out later this week. And then I have another video relating to Lunala coming out after a video that kind of relates to Lunala. I don't want to give anything away, but let's just say, let's just say, expect to see some Sun and Moon giants in the next few videos. Um, okay, so we'll we'll play we'll play another outdated deck today's tourney. We will play a Lando Reggie Rock deck here it is the first thing ever. And before someone enters with uh, Blasters Kill you. Looks cool, thank you. Yeah, no problem, Maggie. Um but yeah if you can get your hands on Decidueyes with those like a bunch if you have a bunch of packs, Maggie, from those codes, get Decidueye GXs. Um is the deck shield worth my money guys? Yeah uh, like sleeves and stuff like that. 
I would definitely say Dragon Shield sleeves, by the way, are the best. Um, when I played IRL, I used to use Dragon Shield sleeves. But yeah, get sleeves. If you're talking about getting sleeves, Benji, I would definitely get some sleeves. Probably, preferably ones that look cool. Um, I have a bunch of sleeves that I, like, had from when I used to play in real life. I'm trying to find them here. Um, I, yeah, I found, I got my red Dragon Shield sleeves here. Um, I have these sleeves that have, like, Reggie Gigas on them, Yenmega, Togekiss, Espeon, Heatran, Houndoom, Garchomp, Espeon, and, um, Leafeon and Umbreon. Those sleeves I used to use. I have blue, I have these basic blue sleeves. Um, I have some Japanese sleeves, too, because I remember I went to a card shop back when I played in real life, and they actually sold, they sold, like, these really cool Japanese sleeves. I wanted, there's these Hydreigon ones I really wanted, but I couldn't get. Yeah, I got red Dragon Shield ones. I got the, yeah, again, I got these, like, weird Reggie Gigas sleeves. Which are pretty cool. I do plan to play in real life again, like, down the road. Like, probably a few years from now. When I actually live on my own, and I have the time to play in real life, I'll play again. I don't want to play when I'm, like, I'm in school and stuff. Not because, like, I'll get, like, picked on or people make fun of me. Which is kind of part of the reason. But it, mainly because, like, school gets in the way. But, yeah, when I actually live on my own, I get a job and stuff. Like, I live in an apartment. I'm going to be playing in real life again. Yo, LDF, I play Lunala deck, too. Lunala's sick. I even have another Lunala deck coming up after my Sokaleo video that I'm going to make. Also, LDF is not a pro. I suck. I mean, I'm winning tournaments out here with outdated decks that, you know, shouldn't be winning tournaments when they use Shauna and Judge and Birch for draw. But it's just how it goes. Okay, I'm trying to find my Fuller Juniper. I have a Fuller Juniper somewhere in my room. I can't find it. Is this it? Oh, found it. It's all sleeved up in these nice blue sleeves. It's not in the greatest condition. It actually has a few scratches on the sides of it. I don't know how much Fuller Juniper sells for it, though. But you know, when I actually get back in the game and they have a reprint Juniper, I got a Fuller Juni to use for my deck. There you go. He sucks. I do suck. I'm the worst player in Pokemon. I'm the worst PvC Geo player ever. I'm going to look around for more sleeves, though. Um, a fighting deck, all right. I guess it's going to be a mirror match. I've seen Quebec Mew, too. I know who that is. I got pink sleeves, too. Those were some sleeves I had. Pink sleeves. Where? Okay, I had these cool, like, Japanese sleeves. They were, like, cutesy kind of sleeves. I don't know where they are, though. can't find them. Where are they? I'm looking in all... I have all these tins of Pokemon cards laying around in my room. Um, okay, my dog needs to stop barking. I don't know where they are. Where are they? I have these... I want to, like, maybe, like, get a picture of them, too, and I can put them up. For you guys to see. Uh... Ooh, I, I found a code card, but I think it's already been redeemed. Yeah... I don't, I don't have any expensive cards. The most expensive card I have is a Juniper, by the way. Um, I play in school. I don't care what people say. Yeah, man, you, know, you shouldn't really care what people are saying. Um, wait, this is Lando. Wait, what? Lando Reggie with Bats? What am I playing? Um, yeah, but you shouldn't care what people say. But me, I'm not grind is too real for me to actually play in real life. Um, but yeah, when I actually get a job. Playing Pokemon in real life is something I'm definitely going to do. I don't want to play when, like, I'm kind of, like, asking my parents for money. I want to play when I actually have my own money. Because the game is not cheap to get into. I don't play IRL. I used to play. I used to play IRL all the time. Like, I used to go to term stuff. I used to know, like, all, like, the good players, like, Jay Lesage and stuff. But, yeah, I kind of just, like, stopped. Oh, it's Lucario Bats. All right, I guess we're going to try and win a term with Lucario Bats deck. Which, we can't actually deal with this carping. We don't have Hexmaniac. Rip. Stupid car bank's gonna get in my way. We're gonna have to try and knock out that, I guess. I don't know. Sure. I don't know where my Landris are. What? I, I think I clicked the wrong deck by accident, guys. That's a rip. Outdated decks and expanded tourneys. Great way to waste my tickets, because I'm probably gonna lose most of my games. It's a great... I'm very efficient with my tickets, guys. It's gonna get a Mega Lucario on play. It's kinda scary. We don't have Mewtwo in this deck. Kind of wish we'd play. Ooh, he ends me. Okay, I don't know if we need anything here. Maybe a Sycamore and a Golbat wouldn't be bad. Or not a Sycamore. Lysander and Golbat wouldn't be bad. Lysander and Golbat would be nice. Got Golbat, but no Lysander. Hmm. Why did I choose to play this deck? Maybe I'll swoop across. I'll just do swoop across for the memes. We actually hit Lucario for weakness with Golbat. Um, okay, we'll do this. Um, put damage on his Carbink. We need to knock this thing out. We'll swoop across. It's the biggest meme I've ever done in my life, but we'll do it. Super scoop up. I love to do that now. I'm not going to play Sycamore, though. I'm not going to lose my strong energies. We'll just do swoop across for the memes. And if we Crobat him next turn, we'll be good. Maybe I'll just target the Lucario with Crobat. Wait for Crobat to get knocked out and then knock him out with Lucario. Seems good. Seems like the play of the century. 
Is a raw sick? He's gonna get rid of my strong energy. Okay, good thing I have the two in my hand. That's fine. We need to find a crowbat though. Uh, maybe this deck doesn't even play crowbat. Well, actually, no, it does because it was a it was an X Y on deck, I think. A Z, eh, not bad. I'm gonna do super scoop up here and see if I can hit him with Golbat again. Okay, we can. Sure. Uh, I guess we'll do more swoop across. I don't see any harm in that. I mean, he's not really getting much anyways, so it's really not the end of the world. Hit him with a nice little swoop across. <laughs> the weirdest thing I've ever done to knock out a carving is swoop across. And then we drop Crobat, we knock him out, and then we get into a position where he has to bring out a Pokemon for us to damage. Like, that'll be sweet. So maybe, maybe we're in a good spot right now. I don't know. This is weird, though, the fact that I'm using outdated decks. Outdated decks for the win. I could be playing an actual competitive expanded deck, but no, we're going to play an outdated deck. I need to read chat. I haven't read it yet. Um, everyone thinks I'm from Australia, but I am 100. Yo, my boy. My boy's 100. <laughs> Hashtag mega. Enforce.com. LDF, do you consider having mods in your streams? LDF, Lucario, Batch, Bad Deck, and Current Expanded Meta. I, I, know, I don't even know why I have this built. <laughs> um, you have mods. Mm, mods is something I definitely will probably do in the future. Maybe soon. Maybe I'll do it now. Maybe I won't cap a... Um, I'll probably just mod people that show up to the streams frequently. Like, past on you, Benji, would actually be really good people to mod. Alright, there's Lucario. Alright, we can actually do decent damage to it, though. He's not one-shotting me, either. Rising Fist kind of sucks, though. Okay, what do we need? Halucha. I guess we can go to Halucha here. we we'll lose a Muscle Band, but I can Focus Ash, which wouldn't be bad, either. I'm gonna bring out Halucha. Weird plays, I know. I'm going to focus Sasha too so he doesn't knock me out. That applies for him, right? E okay, it does. Alright, that's fine though. We'll uh, hit him here for 100 damage. And then we knock him out with Halucha. If he doesn't get rid of my focus Sash, hopefully he doesn't. This is weird though. Hey, oh hey there, LDF. Yo, Nolan E, welcome back to the stream, man. Sight Friday, man. Welcome back, man. Shout out to you for checking out the stream today. There's a Karina. He's probably going to get rid of my uh, focus Sash, which kind of sucks. Hope he doesn't, so we can actually knock out Lucario, because I don't think we can do enough damage with our own Lucario to take him down. This is this deck is so bad I'm using okay, he didn't grab it, okay, good. This deck is so bad though, I'm using I'm using Zubat without free retreat and expanded. So I I mean this is a standard deck. Not an expanded deck. Why didn't I play Lando Ready Rock? I regret that now. Another Ultra Ball. Ooh, I keep dropping stuff in my room, trying to open up my cupboards here. Trying to find my all my sleeves that I can show off. I don't know. There's the Orangaroo. Alright. Hey there. Yo. Ayo. Hey, mod me. LDF Kappa. Yo, Pasta. When I when I mod people, you'll be first on the list. Wait, what just happened? Okay, I was like, what? why is the card like all sideways like that? This deck is so bad, it doesn't even have any ways to get strong energy back. Okay, Rip getting gold bat. But we can knock him out here. I mean, he can take me out Lucario, I guess. But that's fine. Maybe I could have went Super Scoop up. Ah, I should have done that. No, actually, no. Yeah, I could have. It's fine, though. We can take out Mega Lucario. It's kind of funny. See what he brings in? He might bring in Carbing. He is? Okay. Cool. I'll just live Sander your Lucario with Halucha. Seems like the good play. I might do the Super Scoop up play, though, just so my Halucha has full health. He can't knock me. Actually, no. 20. Where's this into fighting? Yeah. Okay, so he actually can't knock me out unless he gets a strong energy here. Sicka. Alright, he's losing some cards. Uh, how many VS Seekers did he play? Just one. Okay, I thought he lost more, though. Scorched Earth, that's helping him live my Halucha hits. Okay, a fighting, so that won't knock me out. He's gonna do zero damage to my Halucha. And I'm just gonna lie Sandy Lucario. If we take out his Lucarios, I think we'll be good. I mean, Carbon could become a problem, but we got Crobat in the deck, so it's all good. Alright, let's see. Another Halucha, I will take it. I'm gonna Ultra Ball here and get a, uh, Golbat. Okay, we do have Crobat in the deck. The Lucario Batch deck. The meme is real, folks. The meme is real. You know you, you know you got a bad deck when you're playing Lucario Bats. I'm just going to put all this damage on this thing. We Sycamore, or Lysander that out. And then we fly and press him for a ton of damage. If we had a Via Seeger, we could knock him out again. I really want to do that. So hopefully we can top deck Via Seeger. He might just retreat into Carbink so he don't, doesn't get knocked out, which I'm fine with. Then I'll just retreat into Golbat. Go Crobat, I don't know. Strong energy? Okay. Center Lady? What? I knew we had that in his deck. Ah, oh, that sucks. Corkscrew Smash. Rip. This dude sucks. Why do you play Center Lady in your list? Stop. You suck. Your deck sucks. I'm just joking. His deck doesn't suck, guys. 
I'm just joking. Maybe I'm not, but maybe I am. Alright. N? We could end him here. Guess we'll do that. Sure. Can we find Crobat and another Golbat? Crobat, nice. Do we knock him out with Halucha? The Finding Fury Belt might give us the knockout. We're doing 100. We're doing 90. 30. We do knock him out. Holy cow, Crobat, you legend. Crobat is a legend. It's actually letting us knock him out. That's hilarious. Maybe these outdated... And he concedes! The outdated decks are making people concede for days. Oh my gosh. But stage 1s are bomb AF. Stage 1 is bay. Stage 2s don't see much play. I don't know about that pasta, man. Stage 2 decks are really good. It's going to get the one that gives me the most queens. Trade is complete. Alright. Was it both? I managed to trade for those for you. I couldn't get a fourth, but I figure you can. Yeah. I can... I can get one. I'll just trade some spare packs. Thanks, so man. Thanks, so man. Use a lot. Yo, thanks, O Dog. Yo, shout out O Dog. You know, if O Dog shows up in the chat, I'll hit him with a mod. I think, past I know you're gonna be like, yo, I want mod, but yo, O Dog's donated to me a few cards. He's donated me Promo Lorantis and Coco, so I'm probably gonna mod O Dog, and I'll mod you too, past I'll probably mod O Dog, Benji, and Pasta, but I don't want to just. I don't, I kind of don't want to be like modding people and then people, you know, would also want mod. I don't know. That's kind of the problem with that. But I'll mod people. One of the, one of the problems with stage twos, other than the fact that they're slow to set up, are inconsistent at best. It's, is that cards like Garb exist. Oppressive cards pigeonhole the game. Yeah. And also like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just glad that evolutions are making a name right now. I'd rather have a, a format dominated by evolutions than a format dominated by like, you know, Basic evolutions that like hit you for 250 damage on turn one. Not me. PDCGO is cheap as f compared to Magic the Gathering. Yeah, PDCGO. You know, you know, there's a lot of expensive stuff on this game, obviously, but it's not as expensive as people think. Um. Oh, so Alolan Vulpix makes stage twos viable. Yeah, it does. Alolan Vulpix is great. Even with end in the format, Alolan Vulpix is still a really good card. Teammates is also really good with Tapu Lele for stage two decks. Ente Zard with Zoark. What am I doing? The memes are real. These outdated decks, man. Um, but again, it's almost five, so I might have to end the stream soon. I can. My mom might just come home, and I mean, maybe we'll see. We'll see what happens. Bronzong, Sokaleo. I still. I was gonna make a video on this deck, but I never did. Okay, what other outdated decks do I have? Zygarde, Regirock, and <laughs> Zygarde with Regirock. This would have been a decent deck to play. Why don't I just play this? I don't know. I should have played that deck. Eveltal Gallade is another deck I could play. This deck's also pretty good, too. It was another one of those, like, standard XY on decks, though. Pyroar, Jard, Mewtwo Y. What's this deck all about? It's got Gallade. Oh, I remember I remember. I watched a Sable House stream and I built that deck. Mewtwo Mash. It's got both Mewtwo's. Rip. Uh, Mewtwo Y. Mega Ray Hex. I'm, I could play Mega Ray Hex. That's actually not a bad deck, either. That would be an, an S2GX, which is why it has so much HP. Yeah, Garb Garbodor is wank. I know, Viki, I hate Garbodor so much. Garbodor and Sylveon are so annoying to play against. Taking we enter a tournament with cardio bands. My luck in CSGO is funny. I tried to get into CSGO. On my old computer, I couldn't run it. But I don't know about CSGO. Ever since my boy Syndicate and Team Martin, it's kind of weird. That would be a Stage 2 DX, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm glad those Stage 2 DXs have a lot of HP. Like, it makes them a lot more, you know, viable to use. An outdated Garchomp deck. Not bad. I mean, maybe I could have played that deck, but GXs are in the format, so Garchomp, Garchomp, sadly, is unplayable. I kind of want to use Golurk one day. Galade Octillery. This deck's also pretty memeable. That wouldn't be a bad deck either. We don't have teammates in the deck though. This deck is so dated. We don't even have it. Oh, and we do have second more. I was like, okay. This deck is so dated. We play Shauna and Bridget. Karina's good though with stage two fighting types, because you can just stage. Yeah, this this deck's not too bad either. That wouldn't be bad. Entei Zard would be another really good deck. This deck, I used to play this deck all the time to grind the ladder. Maybe it's still a good ladder grind deck. Who knows? I don't think any non-GX stage 2 sees any play competitively. Nah, Vikavolt. Vikavolt's really good. Um, the problem is how sluggish a deck like Meta GX is. Yeah, but like Meta Gross GX, so if it sets up on you, it's pretty hard to beat. Unless you have Volcanion or Flareon. Meta GX isn't actually that sluggish. Nah, it kind of is. It, it does play slow because you need three energies to build up and you need to get the energy in this card. But it is kind of like iffy. For stage two, it has a rather quick setup. Yeah. Uh, with Alolan Vulpix. Alolan Vulpix makes them so much better. Can't wait for viewer battles. Yeah, Benji, don't worry, man. Next live stream, viewer battles will return. Uh, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Baby Veltal Zoar. What's this about? Ooh. 
Drudagon. Oh my god, I remember we played Drudagon in the decks to beat dragons. Wow, that's hilarious. These This doesn't even play Eveltal yet, because that's how bad this is. Wow. Jeez, these outdated decks are hilarious. Aromatease the Xbox. This is a fun deck. I kind of want to try out Aromatease in uh, Expanded. I might do. I might uh, use this for Attorney. This would be a pretty fun deck to play. I'm not going to lie, this deck would be fun. Uh, let me edit this deck. I might use this, maybe. I don't know if I'll do any other games after this um, game. Um, or any tournaments after this game, because I might just end the stream. We'll see, though. What else could I add to this deck? We could put Landorus in. Uh, Verzian Genesect is good. Aegislash is fine. Magirna is pretty good. Uh, I guess we can take out Hoopa. Do we have Skyfield in here? We do. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We can keep... I think we can take out Karen. I I mean, Vespuk and Nightmarch are good, but Battle Depressor? Who knows? I want to throw another Pokemon in. We have the Eveltal. I think we can take Eveltal out, though. I don't know if we'll need it. Um, definitely put Mewtwo in if we even... If we already have it, then rip. Uh, what else? I want to put a GX in here. We need to update this with Guardians Rising. Oh, we already put Mewtwo in. Rip. Maybe could have kept the Veltal, but eh, we already got the thing. Uh, what GXs could we play in here that could be good? That depends. You're relying on AV's attack to search for cards. That's easy to counter by forcing hand shuffles. Plus ability lock shuts down, shuts meta down hard. Yeah, hate stall deck. Sylveon, I'm telling you, Benji, Sylveon, I hate that deck. Sylveon is an easy deck to beat. First turn, Hex, Donk the EVs. Sylveon, I still don't like that deck, but... It's, I mean, it's not too hard to beat, I guess, but it's not too fun to beat either. Uh, we'll run Coco in the deck. We've got to run Lele. Uh, how many Shays? we got two. We can go one Shay, one Lele. Put Bulu in here, too. Nah, Genesect's a lot better than Bulu. Lapras we could put in. But yeah, let's put Lapras in. Then we have a Water Attacker against Volcanion. Turt we could put in... Attach five fires. Yeah, that could actually work with rainbow. I mean, this deck has special charge, right? Yeah, never mind. We don't need it then. Okay, this deck is actually not too bad. I might, I might play with it because it looks fun. I like, I like these aromatease box decks. They're really fun to play. I might, yeah, I might, I might play this deck for a bit. Maybe for next, next uh, stream. Maybe I'll do beer battles with it when I do my beer battles. But when you brick, yeah, if you brick, you lose. Period. It is top Lele. Yeah, my boy Lele. He's the best Lele in the game. He is awesome. All right. Um. Okay. What was I gonna put in this deck again? I was gonna update it with Guardians Rising. Okay. So what we can do is. Okay. So I was gonna keep those two DCEs. Nice thing about Expanded is you have like all these different energies you can use with um, Aromatis. Technically though, wait. Why did I put four in? Technically. Kling Clang might be better though because with Kling Clang you can use blend energy with Rainbow and Prism, which means you have eight energy to move with no twelve energies, which is nuts. Maybe Kling Clang is better, I don't know though. Two max potions, maybe a little less. I think we'll do this. Go three max potion. I think I'll put Bulu in. I think I'm gonna put Bulu in. I'm gonna take out I'll take out Magirna. I don't like Magirn in here. We're gonna add Bulu to the deck. Even though we already have Genesec, which I guess we can take it. We don't have G-Booster in here. But I like Gen Genesec's a cool full art. We'll keep it. We'll run both Bulu and Genesec, because we can use Bulu's Jex attack. Same with Coco's. I like this. I like this a lot. Alright, here we go. to find a game here. You could also play Hydreigon with the other Blend Energy, because Grass-types might be better. Alright, what is my opponent playing? I don't know, but if we're going to beat him with another updated deck, I'm going to laugh. He's the only Lele right now. My boy. My boy Lele. I can't wait for the new tap for the new Tapu card to come out in the next set, Burning Shadows. I don't know if it's any good, but we'll see if it is. It's interesting with Aqua Patch. All right, the Halucha start. Depending on if opponent plays the X's, could be GX's. Dark and Fire though, I can't really tell what he's playing off of that. I it might not even be a competitive deck. We'll see. Me though, I'm hoping this isn't a competitive deck. I'd like to just I want to win two tournaments with a deck that has outdated cards. It'd be hilarious. It'd be hilarious. All right. We'll see what my opponent is going to be running here. Fresh Rainy Belt. Alright, not a competitive deck. Good. Oh, I'm going to hold on this hand. He can't donk me. It's impossible. I'll, I'll just hold on this hand. I'm fine with that. We'll just... We'll, we'll hit him really hard next turn. Lele is bae. My boy Lele. Genekex. Tapu Fini. Yo, Tapu Fini. I can't wait. 
Tapu Fini is going to be interesting. I don't think it's honestly that good. It might actually be the worst Tapu card, if I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it has that much value to it. Flare Gun. Thank God I didn't put the strong energy on. That's his turn. That's awesome. Muscle Band. Okay, be my guest. It's not going to help you focus, Sash. All right, nice. He passes. Can we top deck a Zubat? Belt? Nah. I kind of didn't want to top deck that. That's fine, though. All right, six more. We need to get a Pokemon now. We could lose next turn. It's possible. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, we'll get rid of a raw. We'll get rid. Of, yeah, we'll get rid of super scoop up and switch. And I think I'm just gonna get me a Lucario EX down. Lucario bats. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. I might even just make Lucario the thumbnail. It's gonna make me full. But if we can win with a meme deck like this, the memes are real. He can't even knock me out next turn either with the focus sash on. Mega Dragon Zard for spooks. <laughs> that card, man. Mega Charizard is interesting with um the new uh supporter that puts like fire energies on. I can't remember what it's called. But it's interesting. This man's playing Great Ball. This man is playing Great Ball. Using outdated decks. I'm going to title the stream afterwards, Using Outdated Decks to Win Tournaments. Make Tapu Deck when it comes out. I'm going to make like an old Tapu Deck. I, I know it might not be original, because I know Yell Swallow is going to probably do that. But it'll be fun. Like, it's kind of funny. Like, Yell Swallow made that video with like Coco and Bulu. And then the next thing you know, Vikavo, Bulu, technically Lele and Coco, becomes one of like the top decks in the format. That's hilarious. That's kind of funny, and he called it bad deck. I'm not hating on him, I just think that's kind of ironic and funny. That's a coincidence. He's got Pyroar. That's a little annoying. Who plays Pyroar? What? Oh my gosh. That's fine, though. I guess we just target the Pyroar. We can just knock him out, go bad. I mean, we have Lysanders for days, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna hit this Litleo, though. We're already gonna knock him out. Uh, we'll do Super Scoop Up and keep his hand. Yeah, that's fine. We'll keep the hand, and then we'll reuse his gold bat next turn. Yeah, we'll just flying press. Take out his Eveltal. Bye-bye, Eveltal. Get out of here. What's he going to hit me with next? Probably Gengar. I don't know. We'll see. Sycamores. Now the strong energy is greatly appreciated. I'm scared of this Lilio, though. I might just try and target Lilio as soon as I can. If we had more gold bats down, we could probably double gold bat him next turn and then knock him out. But sadly, we can only get the one down. We can't crowbat him either, which kind of sucks. That Lilio, the Pyroar is a little scary, even with crowbat. So we don't have Muscle Band in here. Ho -Oh GX. Ho -Oh GX looks pretty fun. New Lucario card looks pretty interesting, I think. Yeah, I mean, it looks fun, but I don't know, man. We'll see. I mean, depends on how the format goes. If it keeps speeding, we'll see. Okay, thanks for doing that. Okay, that's fine. We got the gold bat in our hand, unless this man delinquents me. Lucky Helm. All right. At least we can keep our Holucha for later, too, which I like. Heart Charm on Litleo. All right, of course you have to put that on your Litleo. Um... You have a good deck. Thanks. You have a good deck, too. I think I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to put the Muscle Band on Golbat in case he brings out the uh, thing. In case he brings out Pyroar, we have an answer to it. Okay, there's Crobat. There's another Golbat. All right, we'll get rid of Halucha and Sash. And I think we're just going to get Zubat here. He has a Dark on the bench. So that's an easy prize there, too, because it's weak to fighting. This is good. I guess we just corkscrew smash. Ah, uh, he's not gonna outrage me. He didn't even he hasn't put an energy down in a while. Hey, we got that fighting energy. The thing with Lucario over Landris, is he, the the drop support with corkscrew smash isn't actually too bad. I love to find a way to make the new Zygarde card work. Interesting if they reprint Double Dragon. I hope they do, man. I hope they do. Double Dragon is the only way dragons can be competitive. Why? What? What? Ooh, double. If you DCEs, I'm a little scared. Revive. All right, put more Pokemon on your bench in case you uh, pyro me. That's fine. Okay, burning. If you get a pyroar, that's fine. All right, look at that. We can just hit him with that. Wow, we're about to really. If we had a Lysander, we'd actually win this turn, which would be kind of awesome. We'll uh, take out you. A hey, more energy. Rip my opponent though. Rip my opponent. I feel bad. Actually, I don't feel bad. But we will take out your Reshi Ram and your Lucky Helmet won't work. He's gonna bring out Gengar though, but that's fine. Uh, can we knock him out? Somersault kick. If we can't. I, we have Shaman in this deck, I think. I'm going to try and dig for a Lysander this turn. I'm going to try and get a Lysander here. We'll get rid of Sycamore and N. Got be a Seeker in her hand. All right. Do we have Shaman in the deck? I don't think we do. We don't. Rip. That's fine. We'll just grab another Zubat then. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have Shaman. This deck is so bad, we don't even have Shaman in it. Yeah, we'll bring out Halucha instead. Oh, that's fine. Put more damage on with Halucha. I think that's a little more fair. You never know, he could, you know, power up that Eveltal and whip my Lucario. 
Double drag it with Neuvern, please no. That's the thing. That would be really scary. We'll see if that happens, though. I wish they would bring back regular chat. I know. Why? Like, like what are these emotes about? They, like, if they're gonna put more emotes in, they need to put a GG emote in, and they also need to put a middle finger emote in. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be funny, though. <laughs> like, dude, we're about to win a tournament with a Lucario batch deck. What are the memes? What are the odds of this meme? It's gonna be that memeable. 50 coins, too. Hmm, maybe we can get Garden's Rising back by the end of this tournament. This is hilarious, though. I actually love cards that poison. Yeah, they're pretty fun. I wish they'd bring back regular chat. Yeah, I, I yeah. I already answered that, but, you know, we'll answer it again. Um, I'll show you guys a deck here that I've been cooking up. Uh, me and my friend Odog, the guy that was just, you know, trading me those Magma Secret bases. Um, we'll, I'll show you guys this uh, deck we've been cooking up here. Actually, oh, we gotta finish that in this deck first, right? Then I'll show you guys the deck. Should I go 2 2 Aromatis? We don't have a Super Rod in here. Might wanna add that. Alright, we'll take out the belts. Put Choice Band in. Oh, I forgot. Choice Band's not a Pokemon. What am I doing? Why am I so dumb? Voice cracks for days. The memes. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll go three Choice Bands. Seems good. Um, Two Aromatis might be a little safer, though. Might just go two Aromatis. Three, two. Might be okay. And then we can run Super Rod. Because we do need a way to get Pokemon back. So I'm going to run Rod. Yeah, we'll put Super Rod in. I want to have a way to get my Pokemon back. Alright. What other Pokemon do you think we could put in here for attackers? Maybe the Genesect and the Bulu is too much. But Bulu isn't bad. Because we can use it for Tapu Wilderness. Which is kind of what I like. Ninja Boy. I just realized we could put Ninja Boy in here. That'd be really good. Okay, we'll do this. We'll take out these two. One a level ball and a ninja boy. Yeah, ninja boy would be really nice in here. I think that's the best card we could put in. This ninja boy makes this deck really good. Ear creep. <laughs> Lol. You have a good deck. You can see the smirk. Yeah, that dude was... He, he could see the salt. 20 from stadium, 40 from energy, and 20 from muscle band. 180. Yeah, but Gengar's resistant pasta. He needs more Nolan. Yeah. Hmm. This deck seems good. Uh, I maybe Megaphone is a little better than. Now ah, Field Blower is better. We'll put Field Blower in too. Maybe two Ninja Boys is better too. Thinking two Ninja Boys isn't bad either. This deck seems good though. I might take out the double the two DCEs because we really only need them for Mewtwo, Lele, and Salamence. But I like them. I like the D I like the DCs a little bit. Might just run one. I think the attacker line is pretty good. Maybe we can run. Um, I don't know. Two Lapras would be bad. We can do collects. I like this list though. This list is nice. I might just make a video on this too. Expanded Oromatis box with like Bulu and Genesect and Landorus and Lapras. I can make like the craziest thumbnail where I have like 50 different Pokemon in it. Oh, I wasn't sure if Gengar resist or not. Yeah, Pasta, Gengar is resistant. I don't think Lucario's attack goes through it either. Hmm. I guess that's really the best thing we could put in the deck. I don't think there's anything else we can put in here. Maybe Giratina, but we'd have to run Double Dragon. I think this deck is fine. The list seems pretty good. I like it. Especially like having the Ninja Boy in the deck. Ninja Boy is a huge card in here. Because you can Ninja Boy into anything you want. Maybe we can take out Genesect though, but... Oh, I like the Genesect. I like Genesect over Bulu. I like having the Genesect because it's a cool looking full art. We'll just we'll keep it that way. I like the Genesect in here. I don't want to change it. Genesect is just such a cool full art. I don't want to just remove it, even though it's probably you know worse than Bulu. Because we don't have uh, G Booster or the Plasma. There is no tips. Any tips on getting coins? Grind, grind the ladder, my boy. Grind the ladder. Alright, so this deck here, me and O Dog have been cooking up. Oh, never mind. The next round of the terms might be in the finals. And then I think after this tournament, I'm going to end the stream. Because um, it's almost time for me to eat dinner. But yeah, this is the uh, Gengar Coco deck I've been cooking up. I'll make a video on it very soon, especially now that I got those Mega Spaces. Alright, here we go, guys. And the finals is against. Can't tell. Oh, no, it might be Lapras with uh, Carbon. <laughs> See, now that I'm, I'm happy I played Lucario Bats because if he plays water, we're not going to have to worry about weakness getting in our way. Which is good. Okay. Like, maybe it's not, because he probably plays Baby Carbon in his deck, you know? We're not going first, which blows, but I think we'll start with Lucario over Zubat. <laughs> the outdated decks winning tournaments. This is the biggest meme in the Pokemon community. Forget all the other memes in PTCGO. This meme. Little Dark Fury winning tournaments with Lucario Bats from the XY on standard format in Expanded. The meme is real. But Genesect is pretty. 
Grind like a, yeah, star, star, star. Exactly. Do I have that word banned? I don't even know. Magic. Oh, is it Garrett? It's Gyarados. We got, dude, Gyarados is probably the best matchup we could have asked for. Because, bats. I'm just gonna, yeah, let's just put the bats down. We just spam bats, we basically win the game. I think we, I mean, this game is gonna go well. Bats for days. This is easy. Easy mode achieved. Sure. Wow. Maybe, okay, maybe he's not playing Gyarados, but if he is, he has, obviously, the colors for Shaman, and then he has to fight for Machoke. We well, plays Machoke, though. We could just win with Supercross. Actually, no, we can't, because Machoke. What am I saying? Okay, it's not Gyarados. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, okay, if it's Gyarados, he has Machoke, but it's not. He threw me off there. The, the typing looked like it. Just got my Fuller Lysander and Anti-Garb with Anti-Garb Sylveon deck. Nice free-to-play. I don't like Sylveon, but I'd rather play against Sylveon over Garb any day of the week. Nice job, though, dude. Supercross about to do work, I know, but my boy ain't playing Gyarados, it's just some random water deck. <laughs> the almighty Magikarp. Benji, this is the strongest Magikarp ever, and we're about to just smack him in the face. I'll play Karina here, sure. He might quaking punch me, I don't really care though. Uh, I'm gonna get another Lucario, and we're gonna go for Golbat here. Be nice if I could just knock out Magikarp this turn, can't though. But I'm just gonna go level ball. I remember the old Karina was a little weird, sometimes people would always miss grabbing their item. I used to do that all the time. It was the saddest thing ever. Nah, I'm just gonna hit hit Articuno. Um, the Toad's not a big deal, I don't think. You just corkscrew smash him here. Rip my boy Magikarp. I'm glad he's not playing Gyarados. I'm glad he's just playing like some random water deck that's probably not very good. He's probably just playing a modified theme deck, Kappa. And it involves your mama. <laughs> Rip Toad. I Toad dang game. I remember I used to hate on Toad so much and Night March. I remember no cast chat. I used to hate on that so much. Same, uh, yeah, it was, and Regice too, Regice, I used to hit on Regice a lot, I used to really despise Regice. Those were the days though, those were the days. Ooh, ooh, actually, yo, I'm looking through my notifications, some of the YouTubers I watch, Mr. T, Lex, Find, 402 Thunder, they just uploaded videos that I actually really badly want to watch now. <laughs> Articuno, Find Ice, you can find your Ice fan, but it ain't gonna matter, or I'm gonna win the game, Kappa Ross. Okay, let's play Super Scoop up here. And get the Golbat back. Hey, my boy. Can we knock him out here? We're resistant to fight. He's got resistance to fighting, which is kind of random. I think we knock him out, right? We put the 20 on him. Pretty sure it's a knockout. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I should have hit the thing, but I'm going to knock out this Toad while I have the chance. I'm going to put damage on it while I can two-shot it. I'd rather just put damage on Toad, to be honest with you. Uh, this Articuno isn't really bothering me. I mean, find ice, rip if he, like, finds ice and plays Dragonair for the Lapras combo, but nah, I'm rather risking that. The epic splash is OP, it is. Think of facing against Sylveon and Expanded. Oh, I don't even want to imagine that with Laser Verbanks. Mmm, not even fair. I won a 24 ticket tourney, so I was able to build that deck. Yo, nice free to play, nice. 24 ticket tournaments, a lot of people say they're waste. They are if you lose, but if you win, the 24 ticket tournaments are so satisfying. But Night March is the true ass water, it is, man. Man, you hated anything that was anti-EX. I did, but now, you know, maybe. Maybe I'm missing them. I'm missing them. Like, Red Ice, I still think, is annoying when you play against it, when you play an all-EX deck. This hand is about to be huge. Look at how big his hand is. But now, his hand is going down to six. AZ, a hey, my boy. All right, I'm not going to play Ultra Ball for Golbat, though. It's no point. Can we win this turn? If we did, nah. Nah, we're not going to win. It's fine. We'll just play this, and then Summersault kick him. Actually, I could have went Corpse to Smash. Why not do that? Hashtag misplays for days. Not even a big misplay, though. Basically win next turn. Yeah, Golbat with the AZ. It's ripped my opponent. We could knock him out probably just without even attacking him. Because I played that deck IRL. Night March is funny. All my friends hated me for playing Night March. I'm telling you, man. It's, it's one of those decks everyone does hate. But, you know, Night March... Honestly, with Karen and, like, Oracorio and Toad and Giratina and every other card that beats Night March, like Decidueye, I don't know, man, Night March really doesn't have its spark anymore. It's still a good deck, obviously, but there's so many counters to it, it's like, Pokemon knew that people hated Night March, so they put counters to it. Yeah, we weren't able to knock them out here, so I'll just go AZ and, uh, just do this, and uh, let's put a lot of damage on that Pulkia so we can knock it out next turn. And I guess we will SSU the Golbat? Sure. I don't know if that was a good play or not. I should have saved that for Crobat. Why did I do that? I'm an idiot. Alright, whatever. Corkscrew Smash. 
Even though we're not drawing any cards, but whatever, we'll still do it. And then we win the game next turn on that Palkia. Unless he rough seas and center ladies, but it's all good. You're like the scum F that plays Exodia or Chain Burn in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yo, rip. <laughs> I think Greninja was one of my favorite decks. Greninja's pretty cool, Nolan. It's a pretty cool deck. I mean, okay. We win the game unless he ends me and he puts down like a really powerful water type. Greninja's a fun deck, though. It's like a deck that keeps hopping in and out of the format. It's like one 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 format. It's like, well, not one format. One one set of cards is like, my boy is here. And now it's not. Dialga Bronzong. Yo, Dialga EX is pretty good. I thought that card was a little underrated with its first attack. You could play that with Garb and make a funny lock deck, but yeah, it's fine. We, we win next turn, unless he hammers me. But no, we drop enough bat. We win next turn regardless. We're all good. Everyone I faced in the tournament had a crap deck, so I easy 12 packs. Yeah, free to play. That's why I love the expanded tourneys. I run to a lot of worse decks in expanded than I do in Legacy and in Standard, so it's really easy wins. I'm not trying to hate on these boys, but uh, that's how it goes. Aqua Turbo. All right. That seals the win. We are now up to 15 Noble Victory Packs, guys. But I think I'm going to end off the stream here, guys. Um, it's a pretty good stream. I'm probably going to either stream tomorrow or Wednesday, and I will be doing viewer battles, guys. I will take viewer battles the next stream. I promised you guys I would do it, and I ain't going to break that promise. So the next stream will probably just be a viewer battle only stream, and then that'll be that. But yeah, it's going to take him out here, and we have now 15 Envy Packs to open up. I'm probably just going to play more tournaments off stream and stuff like that while I'm eating dinner. Ooh, did we get this challenge jump? We did. We can buy a pack. We can buy a pack, I think. We have enough to buy a pack, right? Please tell me we have enough. Nope. Rip. That's fine. I'll open up a chest. We'll open up a chest and then get a pack. But, yeah, that was pretty fun. We went, We won some tournaments with some decks that were outdated. Take in the biggest meme in PDCGO is now Lodark Fury winning a tournament with an outdated Lucario badge deck. Just take that in. I just won a tournament with Lucario badge. Like, who, whose mans did that? And here we go. Five coins. All right. No, 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 that counter to that. Alright, is this going to be an EX? Maybe it does. We got to open up another chest. I don't want to do this, but who cares? I have enough chests anyways. And okay, we will buy ourselves a pack here. And uh, we'll get a Gardens Rising pack. And maybe, because last time I ended my stream on Friday, I pulled up Lele EX. Or GX, sorry. Will we find it? Will we get another Lele GX here? I don't know. Why did I go to Theme Dex? Let's find out. Will we get another Lele GX? I will laugh. I mean, if we do, I'll be happy. I'm Honestly, I'd rather pull a uh, Secret Rare item. Or like a Fuller Sylveon or like Fuller Coco or Secret Coco or something like that. Because, I mean, I already got the three Leylas. I don't really need any more. But, you know, pull them anyways. I can trade on my two trade locks. Everything goes well. Same Steel is my favorite typing. Steel is pretty cool. I think my favorite type is Dark, to be honest with you. There's just so many cool Dark types. All right, here we go. What do we pull? Or, I mean, that's not bad. I didn't have one. It's playable in, like, Gardevoir. And we got Reverse Matchup, so that can add to the bling where I want to build a Machoke deck. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Or the end the video, end the stream. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Just play Ultra 2 Skyfield Blur. Yeah, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And viewer battles next stream, either Wednesday or Tuesday. And I'll see you guys later.